we were seeing on previous dives too is that um, these these corals that kind of uh, fan out um, seem to orient that fan orthogonal to the flow. So basically, they, they sit this way and the current goes mm. crosswise. So it's hitting their backs somewhat. Yeah. So they're they're maximizing the uh, surface area available to that uh, that current direction. Awesome. Those are some large corals. Yeah, they're pretty big here. Can you zoom in on this one, please. A little, a little out more. Good there. Yeah, so that gives me a good size start. perspective there. Yeah. It's so, the fan's so dense you can barely see the basket star. Yeah, is that the first basket star that we've seen? No, but at least this dive? our watch was pretty light, but yeah. I think they watched before us. They had some. Ah, uh, okay. Some Chrysogorgia. Yeah, lovely. I hear there is like a um, a file roaming around that helps. That would help me identify and name all the creatures that we're seeing. I wonder where that might be. I think for it's sure. Right we have got that for you. And then so you can basically open one, open all the images, and just mm. through them. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. All right, thank you. You can come wide. Superb. Isn't it? The hard part is knowing which folder to look in. That, that's yeah. my hang up as well. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one I want to look at. I'm getting there. <laughs> look like there might have been a, b a relatively large bolosoma way out in the distance there. Okay. Oh, yeah, in the upper left corner. Yeah. 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 That would be my guess. I can't argue with that. It looks like some of the ones we saw earlier. Oh, yeah, you can see a little bit of current here in, in the mm. uh, marine snow. That is just a stunning rock outcropping. Look at that. It's pretty amazing, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. It is Give beautiful. Give the people at dinner something to watch. I know. <laughs> There's a nice anemone there on the, on the rock, too. Yeah. Yeah. Another unstocked crinoid on the right. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, right there eye. in the foreground. What's the purple thing right here? Purple thing right where? Right there. I think that's a hole in the coral. Can you zoom in on oh, the Oh, I'm seeing hole, the rocks. <laughs> I think you're right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. mean, that's how stunning Oh, look it at is. that. Uh, yeah. There's a purple crinoid there, too. First yeah. one I've seen in a while. Are we logging holes in, in coral? Can you zoom in on the crinoid? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh. Just top right of the screen there. Oh, top right. Yep. Oh, good excellent. eye. Hi. We've been seeing a handful of those on our our last watch, but really just not. very rare. Yeah, we I have not seen any yet. Hard They're nose, so not seen those. Hard nose, Ooh. not seen them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's thank you. That's a hard no on spot. That's a hard no. <laughs> I like that a lot. I uh, love crinoids. I think they're just so bizarre. They look like flowers, and they're an animal. And yeah. they move around and sometimes. And they move, and they swim. The way Ooh. that they swim. Yeah. The, sw it is it's the swimming for me. The craziest. Whoa, what's <laughs> this rock seen. doing that the lasers are wow. on right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that one. That's at the end of my leash right now, so we'll get there. Yeah, no worries. Let's build some suspense. Crinoids. <laughs> dun, dun. Crinoids are like if HP Lovecraft made a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Diana looks like Chris has given us a What's going genus on? and species. Oh, okay, great. I missed when it came in, though, so I apologize. I don't know. Cyathometra, I believe. This oh, thanks for trying to pronounce that right for me. Cyathometra, and that's more a Chrysogorgia. If you want. Sure. With the flattened shape. Huh. Uh, you can keep a 10 meter one, I think. I'm not going very far down them, so it should be pretty safe. But we have the opportunity for some potentially pretty nice Atalanta shots, so. Oh, Val, we're now down to Working uh, on it. 1892 meters. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, seeing that the uh, oxygen concentration has continued to uh, very slowly drop. So we're looking for that oxygen minimum because uh, 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 
Beth is very interested in getting a microbial sample from areas uh, with lower oxygen. So that's one thing we've been watching so far this dive. Where do you want to get to about 48 or something like that? Uh, somewhere oh. in the range of 40 micromole per oh, liter. 40, that's right, yeah. Yeah. We've got a ways to go. Yeah, we started off in the high 60s when 12 to 4 watch came on. So it's it's coming down. What are we at now, sorry? Um, oh, uh, just below 57 micromole per liter O2. Okay. So still a, a ways lower. to go. What do you expect the minimum zone to be at? Uh, I I don't know if, uh, precisely, but um, yeah, Beth is hoping that we hit somewhere around 40 for some okay. interesting sampling. Look at that hold fast in the top right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's oh, wow. enormous. It's like the center <laughs> of a bok choy. <laughs> it is. Can you zoom in on the bok choy, please? <laughs> I and think what's I heard that little uh, red thing that was Ryan. below bok choy. Oh. Uh, looks like another hemicorallium, maybe? No, we're ne it's not in the frame right now. Okay. I think I heard Ryan saying the one, the Bunch bases that look like that indicate a lot older coral. What's that squishy thing? Is that a star in the back? Oh, an oh, anemone. Oh, Looking okay. through the basket stars. What's what are, those? are those barnacles? What are those? And barnacles. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Good eye. Very interesting. Oh yeah, you can right see their the little filter hair filaments out there. Yeah, amazing. This so there was something else you wanted to see below frame, you said? Yeah, just slightly below. It's red. It was can just, you come out just a little bit, please. Past. Good there. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, that. that oh, right. oh. 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 Yeah. oh my gosh! Good job. <laughs> Stand by on a zoom, stand by. It's the bonus Jonica. Who gets that Good there, That ahead. was Diane, I think. Nice oh, spot hey on that. Buddy. Oh, oh wow. Well, yeah, Jonica. he's in a good mood. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually smiling. This he's one's a, not pouting. He's content. <laughs> content. The smiling of Jonica. Oops, that's not very good. Hooray. Adorbs. You want me to pull out a little? Uh, I want to just fly better. <laughs> we'll keep the move within the same bearing? Yeah, sure, roger that. Pretty this is enough? Ugh. Yeah, maybe pull out just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't. Uh, again, there, uh, same move, no 0, 6, 5, 50 meters. Not without smacking corals. So. Are we going to be, Thanks, be um, Ooh, that was a cool shot. shot. Yeah. Mm. Are we fighting a little current up here? Just a little bit. I'm also stretched out. I'm just getting too excited and eager. Gotcha. I'm going to let Atalanta catch up a bit. So folks who want to follow along with us as we try to ID these things, you can type in NOAA Benthic Animal ID Guide. And that is a great tool. We're definitely pulling from that. Rhett, can you zoom past the shroud, please? Sure. Thanks. You can do that standard operating. Oh, totally. I just didn't notice it for a minute. Much. What was that again, Justin? No benthic animal. Benthic what? animal ID. Animal ID. All right. There's some other great guides out there, I've heard, um, but that's the one I'm a little more familiar with. I gotta write that down. And then the uh, for my own fun. University of Hawaii Dark Lab D A R C. They actually put together. Um, what is that yellow, yellow orange? Yeah, I gotta check that out. Green object. <laughs> Someone's ready for dinner. <laughs> looks, looks, <laughs> looks like an apple. Ravioli. It looks a like an bit, apple, yeah. yes. Like a, an apple just got slapped. Melted? Right Silver. It's totally Gold. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I'm... Uh, that actually is a really good description. Not logged into... Uh, <laughs> okay, zoom in on the apple, <laughs> I'm please. I'm posting as Beth by mistake. Slapple. Whoa. That does I look think like it's an, an anemone apple. that's it's like an pulled apple. in. Yeah, it's a pulled in anemone. I think you're right. Yeah. Pulled in anemone. So is it probably chowing down on something then? Maybe. Yeah, it's a closed anemone, Actinostolidae, from Chris Kelly. Thank you for that. Is that something, that b black piece, is that something yeah, you got more different zoom? from it? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's part uh, of it. Can I hold it? Woo. Wow. Wow. All right, come wide, please. Sometimes I'm just amazed and blown away by, like, colors and shapes and the variations and... 
I get I forget to be all sciencey. I'm just going to be honest. I'm caught up in like how fun and beautiful it is, and I want to draw it and paint it, and it's gorgeous and amazing. Y you know, I'm a big too, fan man. of this animal. Yeah. What, when we have talks at uh, kind of outreach, education outreach talks at Papahana Mokua Kimri National Monument, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Kasaki is always saying it's like it's that sense of wonder. It, you need that needs to be there. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. we do this. And this is this is one of these uh, opportunities we get to fully indulge that. Totally looks like a mounting wax apple. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we get to waypoint three, will we be um, going off the side of the the cliff there um, to just check out what kind of biology we might be seeing there? Perhaps just a um. random question that popped up. I think that may be in the plans. Um, probably off watch once we get there, but mm -hmm. we'll see what Beth decides, and we'll see how the uh, the ship is moving too. Awesome. Have we ever seen salps before? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Salps are fun. I remember. You, I think in some of the old highlight videos, I've seen some pretty cool close-ups. You guys probably remember better. Those of you've been around long longer. Cool. I don't think we've seen them on this trip. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I'm Ma thinking like just over the years as I check in and yeah. see what's going on. What was yeah, the name yeah. of the thing we saw? Uh, the the weird tube. The pyrosome. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's not a salp, right? No, it's, but it's a tunicate. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Oh, you saw a tunicate? Yeah, we that's did. That's cool. Yesterday, I'll show you pictures. Oh, cool. It's probably 60 centimeters in length. Just looked like this glowing pink tube. Huh. I need to see this. Yeah. Yeah. It's the trouble with sleeping. Yeah, right? <laughs> the trouble with sleeping. <laughs> that's all the good stuff. Do we have to sleep today? <laughs> Can I get a reset, please? Unfortunately, we uh, may have to. US PM? Sure. If I'm Thank awake you. for more than 18 hours, I tend that's to get great. way that's too loopy to function. Yep. <laughs> I think that's when you would become punchy. Yes. I, that's that's a brand new word to my uh, vocabulary. Punch Someone early. called me punchy the other day. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Fisticuffs. I think we've all had those moments. A little oh, sleep, for sure. sleep deprivation. Yeah. Slash excitement. Slash maybe fed too well from the galley. <laughs> <laughs> they are doing a phenomenal job with the food. USBL? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the water. Try to keep it focused. <laughs> the water's a little bit murkier here, so um, it, it looks a little cloudier, a little bluer. Mm. Yep. Yep, higher amount of dissolved and microparticulate things in the water around this area. So, good snacks for the corals and the sponges. I think we're stabilizing a little bit if you want to come in on Atalanta, right? Okay. Thanks. Maybe not too much, but that, that helps a little. Sure. <laughs> Thanks. Ashton, hearing your voice is like a little surprise because actually hearing everyone's voice is a little surprise because I'm just so unfamiliar with hearing all your voices. <laughs> we never get it overlap like this. This is lovely. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I might do this more often. Come and just <laughs> fill in on yeah, random. Yeah, please do. Crossover yeah. episode. Yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, I mean, I love thing. my watch, but like, yeah, it's just fun to have like little guest appearances. Hey, oh, you can do the white stock thing, please. One of the sponges. Yeah, well, that's oh. a very small version. Kind of looks like a tulip at the moment. Yeah, yeah they really absolutely. do. Maybe a rose. Little Easter yeah. flower. Roses are red. And then sponges are white. Sponges are white. <laughs> this time we'll go all through the night. <laughs> nice. Shoot. Now I can't remember what Chris told us this was. Is Bonasoma? No. No. Because well, we ran into slightly bigger versions of this. We've been looking yeah. at some that were euplectidae, and I'm not sure. Ah, uh, how does that? All right, come on. Hyalostylus. I don't say that. Hyalostylus. Ah, thank you, Chris. Thank you. That's yeah, we great. get something new every dive. Yeah, different community balances, different species. Annabelle's different gonna lava morphologies. 
Thank we'll you say. for having me, guys. Yeah, thank you. This was fun. Thank you. Annabelle, I hate to tell you, but we saw a ton of cops. See you guys later. We did. But she'll see something good. Signing off, handing back to Annabelle. Check out that rock outcropping. <laughs> oh, there's a rock between us. That's a little. Uh, I'm gonna watch your go altitude. up. We're gonna look at it though. Do. Might as well look at it. Uh, we, you? Our onshore team has a request if we see a uh, flattened Carson Gorgid uh, to get a zoom on that. Okay, I'm swapping with Steve. Okay, no worries. See you guys. Thanks, Red. Oh, it's not so bad. Look at that. Wow. Let's get some Atalanta zooms oh. as soon as Steve's ready. <gasps> Yes. I'm going to hide her underneath the corals, I Hot. think. Oh, Beauty shot. shot her. Absolutely. Let's see how much room is there. I don't want to take anything out with my bumper. That All is right. a dense area. Okay. So uh, dinner relief is done. So Beth is going to come back on and uh, get back in the driver's seat back here. Bye, Val. All right. You ready to line me up for some wow. sweet, I mean, a sweet atlanta ink? Crinoids. Yes. Chrysogorgia. This is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Chrysogorgia. Take my yes. picture, Steve. Love it. Wow, look how big they are. I can't get can't get under them. So these are Chrysogorgia? So is that true? Yes. I don't I think they all are, but a good bit of them for sure. It's the little fluffy ish. I, if I had a teleprompter that, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and what are, are the, taking? not a teleprompter, what is it? Telestrator. Telestrator, thank <laughs> you. Teleprompter. <laughs> Telestrator. I don't have it. I don't have either one. We've just seen some really beautiful, just stunning outcroppings of rocks covered in uh, Chrysogorgia yeah. and Macaralium. Yeah. Mm. Really is the pink coral the hemichorallian? Okay, cool, thanks. Light pink, okay. <laughs> and then the dark pink is the paracord. Can we have a peek at that plexurid? I you think it's tell uh, me where that is. middle below at the bottom. Yeah. yeah, we can have a peek. All right, Steve, commence <laughs> peeking, please. <laughs> commence peeking. Osako is checking that out. Zoanthids? Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a Yeah, biologist. it's zoanthids growing, overgrowing another colony. All right, come wide, please. Thank you. Some squat lobsters there. Okay. On that. Trevor, are Hi. you aware of the request to want to get some close ups of these um, fan like Chrysogorgia? Sure. That we just passed on our right. I'm going to come back to the left where I'm a little less okay. stuffed in this canyon. Yeah. And then we will probably see lots more, I say, as I jinx it. <laughs> How about some of these? Wow, that's not Whoa. what we were looking at, but that is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Like Massive. a giant tree. Yeah, Yeah. so it's some of these smaller ones, I believe, is what yeah. we got a request to look at. Sure, okay. Chrysogorgia, but they're kind of in a fan, like. Yeah, usually they're a little more floofy, like Rob. And we'll also want to look at this white one, too, at some point. White one. Ah, that way. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, sure. That's all good. Unless they want to sample, we're good. Zoom in there, please. Yeah. Well, look first. <laughs> look through the Paragorgia. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We're looking at the white one? Yes. Let's Roger. look at the white one, and then we'll look at the other one. Ah, Either way. Ah, I'm very, very close and cozy. I don't love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <laughs> doing great. You need me to come wide? No, that's fine. I just don't want to get any closer. Okay. All right. And then Thank let's you, try Natalie. to get some closer of the this fan. Of the witch? Uh, sorry, what your the lasers are on? Oh, okay. If we could get some closer? zooms on the polyps. All right, go ahead. Zoom. All right, 
am I? I think they, okay. they're blurry. I don't think that's, that's okay. Uh, us. We can come back. <laughs> okay. Zoom wide. wide, please. Yeah. All wow. right. Those were. All right, and then we'll hold for a minute for our folks at home as we're doing another dinner swap. Yes. All right. <laughs> dinner time. So, Bisa, can we get some stills of this? Oh, I'll wait. Jess? Hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome. Hello. Dinner crew. Hello. Some big bamboos. Yes. Did Dan love his birthday card? Yes, and his birthday necklace, and his birthday cake, and his birthday song. <laughs> <laughs> Even I sent can't. a picture of the birthday card to his family. Oh. Aw. I think he's having a good day. What are we doing? We would like to get a closer zoom of a colony off to our left. If we off can. to your left? Yeah. Roger. Roger. Although it's nice to see all these basket stars on the... Oh, yes. Yeah, cool shot in the Atlanta. There's a whole lot of things right in there. Yeah. yeah. Lots of... Yeah, but yes, there's a small white fan to our left. It's not really great to image because it's behind a Paragorgia. Okay. So we might have to play around a little bit, but there's an interest in getting some closer zooms on it. This is it I right it, here. Yeah. You mind if I turn my heading? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Roger. I'm a bit behind on the ship from okay. the ship move, but we can try to get as close to the shot as we can with the time of permitting. Yep. That's a, like, that's a fun shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the way behind all the other things. Can I come down yeah. a little bit? Sure. I'm going to have to move pretty soon. Sorry. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, video. We'll just try to see if we can get it. That's great. Mm. Great. Can we also get some stills, please? Yep. Sorry. Yep. Drifting. If we need to come wide so we catch up, that's fine. We yeah, just wanted a couple please. closer images for our scientists ashore. What's the ship moves being moved at right now? Point three. Oh, uh, the speed? Roger. Lynette, can we get you on SPL? Yes. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so on the dinner watch, did we decide to come over on the other side of the ridge? Do you know? Um, well, we were drifting really far to the south. Okay. Um, just before dinner watch. Yep. Um, it looks like they've corrected that. And so now we're just sort of trying to head back in that northeast direction again. Okay. Thanks. Yep. So we think the white fan was a stelasterid. Follow you around to zero six five. Roger. Would you mind centering up on the DVL map screen, please? 
You want to oh, just reset? To, oh, no, just to see where the ship's going, since that's our main indicator as to if it's runoff on us or not. Okay. Sorry, back row. We're still just getting ahead here. No worries. So the Stelasteridae is a type of hydrozoan. Slightly different group than some of the other corals we've been looking at. Jess, is it possible to come off bottom a little bit and pan right and left just to see what is on the sides of this rubble pile? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Kind of going right through the, the flat part of this, I'm just curious if it's more dense off to the edges. You're looking for coral density? Yeah. Reg. Or, or sponge. I'm not, I'm not picky. <laughs> we'll take it all. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> so it doesn't look like there's much that way. To the right. Yeah. Let's swing around to the left here real quick. And Argus or an Atalanta looks like that's also pretty bare. Okay, we'll just keep going on the trajectory we got. Roger. Mm, so might want to move the ship a little bit north just so we can have Herc swing again to the west side of the feet or the north side of the feature. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero three zero, please? Thank you. Zero three zero, Raj. Sorry, Stephen, I was messing with my lights. So a lot of these Chrysogorgia fans in the field of view here. Mm -hmm. I got it. I just. <laughs> eDNA is an environmental DNA for that person asking. Yep. So like we have another big stocked sponge here. Mm. Oh, and a really nice fan coming up ahead. Very large. Mm -hmm. This one's really nice, yeah. Yeah, it's a huge primnoid. Yeah, I was going to ask if that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Paracalyptrophora, is that yeah. the one we're looking Ooh, at? Oh, this is, uh, wow. Either that or Paracalyptrophora. Can, Can we I get some stills of that? Can I zoom in there? Mm -hmm. That's great, Steve. Hmm. Looks like it has maybe some... Wow, uh, yeah. Hydrozoids. Hydrozoids, yeah. there we go, on it. Yeah. Some stars hanging out. Thanks, you can come wide, Jess. Okay, please come wide there, Steve. Or, yeah, Steve, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> team, <Wow>. team camera. <laughs> team <laughs> camera, Raj. Yeah, it's huge. It's like almost <laughs> two meters. The biggest wow. one we've seen. Yeah, yeah this, this is cruise, maybe? beautiful. Repeat what we think this is or know that this is. So it's a type of um, octocoral called primnoid. Mm. Paracalyptropha. Well, again, still, just you know. a field of bottle brush. <laughs> 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 Gorgia. 
I love this contrast of the mm, still That's great, yeah. I, the photos with the still camera have been really great on this expedition. It takes a bunch that are not great, but then the golden ones in between are excellent. <laughs> yeah, the ones where the fan is like head on. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so sad. Can we get a partial zoom on this Oh, area? thank you. I was yeah, like, sure. <laughs> it looks so interesting. Yeah. The hold fast looks yellow. Both almost. the hold fast and the smaller one yeah. next to it. Roger that. We'll try to get them both in the same frame. Great. Yeah, a lot of, lot of fans here. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Steve. OK, yeah. Jess, can we set up to take an eDNA sample, please? Sure thing. Can we do it on the fly, or do you, would you like it in this one spot? Um, around all these uh, corals, so it doesn't have to be right in this sure. exact spot, but... We can yeah, probably just do it right. on the fly. Okay. Roger. Can you come wide on Atalanta? Thank you. Yeah, this is a different community than the first two that we took, so... <clears throat> a lot more Christ Gorgia. All right, Cameron's full rack back. Roger, Roger. Maybe worth getting a still of this too, just so we have it for a recording with the DNA. Okay. And I'll set up right over here, Beth. And great. We'll be in a good spot for taking the sample. Craft power's on. Okay. I'll wait for comms before doing valve. Will you get Roger ready that. for that? I want to isolate the DC bender again. Raj. Cool. Let me know when you get comms. We've got comms. Roger that. We got valve. Blue button. Three. I'll be the blue guy. I'm at 1.6 meters off. Let me know if you want it any closer or further. Um, yeah, three, right. You already got it. You're good, Jess. Kay. I have eyes on the port. Roger. Nice. Come here. Nice. And we got fired. Sweet. Yep. Raj. Oh, it fired. Not we got fired. <laughs> <laughs> None of that now. <laughs> We're 1.8 meters off the deck there for you there, Leela. Perfect. Thanks, Jess. Yep. I'm going to push ahead. Yep. Raj. Catch up. OK, halted. Oops. That's OK. Awesome. Craft secured. And benders back on. Skid forward. All right. Piece of cake. <laughs> you make it look so easy. We're getting pretty good at this. Yeah. <laughs> we got a good team going here. <laughs> awesome. Some folks wonder if they see when they see stars on the coral if they're eating. Um, yes, a lot of the time, but I don't know if all of the time they're eating the polyps. I think sometimes they're just trying to get a little bit higher up in the water That's to, right. to filter yeah. you think. Yes. yeah. Especially those brittle stars that mm -hmm. feed in from the water column. Yeah. So the ones that sort of, you see all of those longer appendages wrapping around, sometimes those are just getting higher, but the sort of more traditional sea star, when you see it, usually has been eating, I feel like, a lot of the times when we've seen it. They're a little bigger. <laughs> a little, little, little chunkier. They're happy. Did you pan left a little there? Oh. Oh, no, that's pan right, is it? <laughs> no, I, I was asking if you had. If oh, you did no. Pan. But it's sometimes on. it's creeping. The, the pan and tilt now creeps a little bit to it the does, left. It does, yeah. So. 
yeah, keeps us honest, I suppose. For is, it, is it one of those situations where you have to like dial it in the middle, and if like there's no center, like you have, to, I don't know. It's like almost. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Can we you've... get a partial on this C star? Sure. Core livery here. Go into town. Yeah. Yep. So, Take for the person who just asked that question. <laughs> You can see one in action, um, chomping. On the coral. On the coral, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve, go ahead and start your push. Some kind of goniosterid. <clears throat> it eats it clean too, just stark mm -hmm. difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no no meat left on those bones. Thanks, you can come out. Bridge pull away, please. Thank you. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero four five, please? Thank you. Roger that, zero four five. Shrimpy, maybe? Oh, yeah. Or fish? Shrimpy. Shrimpy. Shrimp. <laughs> Those super long Tahinotus heteropolypus mushroom corals are funny. The orange ones with those super long polyps. These here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're very long. I see them better here. What did you say they were? They are Heteropolypus tahinotus. Beautiful. Mushroom corals. Not amaranthus, right? <laughs> not a can not a can uh now I'm now I'm mixing it up. <laughs> oh, Acanthamastus, yeah. no. Anthemastus. Yeah, Anthemastus yeah, was the old was what I said. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> The giant thing way in the back. Yeah. Yeah, there's mm. a nice coral back there. Yeah. What was that? Sometimes they let me do it. <laughs> Red doesn't even notice. <laughs> Nova does slap my hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> you was that, was that you over there? I zoomed, yeah. <laughs> I, I always a, zoomed. I did a fake karate chop. Yeah. Oh, if I had done a real one, you know, we'd have to get you evacuated. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Are you the karate kid over there or right. something? Is that what's <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some partials on these basket stars up here? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Well, this looks beautiful. like a bamboo. It's a big bamboo. Change my heading just a little bit. Sure thing. All right, Steve, if you want to go ahead and start a partial zoom there. Solid. You no. want lasers off? Yeah, let's do it. Can we get a slightly tighter shot so we can try to see the mouth parts? Go ahead, Steve. Or the plates, whatever they're called. Probably not from this angle. It looks like it's on the other side. Yeah, it mm -hmm. looks like it's on the back side there. Okay. Still pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty, yeah. Right. So this is a bamboo coral? Yes, one, it big is. ones. You can see the black lines <laughs> oh. on the skeleton. Laser's gone back on. I wonder how long that, that brittle star has been there for. Yeah. There's also some basket stars here. Do you want to see if these are similar or sure. just keep going? Sure, can't hurt. We have a moment to zoom in. But All right, go ahead and start a zoom there, please. 
Oh yeah, it looks like that one in the oh, center yeah. of the frame. Some squat lobster. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things attached to this coral. Yep. Okay, yeah. come wide. Thank you. All right, full wide. Thank you. Beautiful. interesting that this part of the ridge has so much going on and the lower parts of the ridge just not that far away had absolutely nothing on them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. These rocks look a bit more stable. Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, we're maybe just the way the currents are moving. Yeah. We're at a slightly different orientation yeah. on this ridge. Well, how does the current feel to you, Jess, driving Herc? Uh, actually, not too bad. It's okay. pretty nice comparison other days. Yep. The water up here looks pretty clear, too. That's true. Beautiful shot. Yeah, can we get a partial on this in the center of the frame? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's gonna look good for me. All right, go ahead, Steve. I won't forget you, Kylie. I know. Well, I, whenever I can get Herc from the side or angled, I, I, I kind of have a better away. chance of impressing people on shore. <laughs> Did you want a tighter shot? Yeah. Can I come a little awesome. wide on Herc a little bit, please, there? That's good. Okay, oh, hey, go ahead and push on back in there. You're you can zoom, uh, Adelanda. I can do it. Yeah, you don't go mind. for it. No, <laughs> take it over. Let's see. Let me see. Thanks. Sure thing. Full wide, please. Going back to the sea star who was chomping on that uh, bamboo coral, somebody's wondering about how long it maybe takes one to finish off. <laughs> Probably some time for sure. Doesn't happen quickly. We've also seen a lot of those uh, bamboo corals that have just like pieces of the bottom mm -hmm. being off, and so the sea star didn't necessarily go all the way to the top. So, mm -hmm. I but I have no idea what. It's a cool colony. So it looks like the. Fan in the back is another one of these uh, bamboo corals, which we think is, <clears throat> no, where do we, uh, Jason Isis, I believe. So many colors going on here. Can we get a partial in the middle there? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, if that's just something in the background. Yeah, squat lobster. Where the squat lobsters are, but I'm trying to figure out what, what they're yeah, on. What they're on, because mm -hmm. it's a slightly, it's dark. Yeah. But it's like blending in with the dark blue back there a little bit. I can't, yeah, and I can't tell. Beautiful shot, though. Well, that's hydroids? A, is there something in the background? Yeah, there might be hydroids on a dead bamboo. Yeah, that's what All I'm wondering. All right, Steve, go ahead and push it in, please. Don't want to get too far low here. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's a hydroid behind it. And then this squat lobsters are just hanging on to this. Come on, why not? Wow. Atlanta. Is it, yeah, it looks definitely looks dead. It's like spiders on a work. <laughs> Great, thanks. You can yeah, come no, on. Cool. If it is dead, in. it's interesting. Like, why not hang Back out on the live uh, parts? Zero oh, no, I don't think it was dead. Oh, okay. It's Raj, just a different. You want to uh, uh, follow species. you over, Raj? Thanks for keeping me on my on my, on my schedule there. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> like, oh, these are so nice. Let's just stay at these coral patches. Yeah, you can go ahead. We're, we're deep enough. I'll make my way over. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero six zero, please? Thank you. Sorry, guys. I'll get a little ahead here and we'll get some Pennies in the bank, as Kylie says. <laughs> <laughs> the Zoom bank? Yeah. Zoom bank. The sample bank requires more pennies. But yes, yes. Actually, they come out of the same account. <laughs> <laughs> they come out of the same account. <laughs> <laughs> they don't accept credit. <laughs> I'm coming down on my Delta. Scratch.
tough overdraft fees too. <laughs> Checking out the speckling on the cable. Ah, uh, Reg. Hmm. Seems to be a little sparser on this side. Mm hmm. A bit more rubbly. I feel like the water's slightly less clear, too than where we just were. How does current feel there, pilots? <laughs> he, has, he, has his, he has his necklace on. <laughs> How's the current feeling up there? It's pretty good still. Good. I mean, it, as in, it's not not very not very ribbon or anything. Mm. I think we've seen it a lot worse now. <laughs> <laughs> True. Ah, switching over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was fun. Bye. See ya. Good check. Good Thank check. You, you <laughs> did a great check. Aw. Co check. Aww. Co -check. Yeah, like great thing. What I've are we done doing? All day. We're just going to go this way. Um, sure. Yeah, we had <laughs> just come back over on the, the northern side of this feature, although it seems that the animal density has gone down since we did that. Yeah. Um, what was the decision for your northern side? Uh, well, where we were a moment ago before dinner, mm -hmm. it was looking okay, and then the shift drifted, and we came over went back so that we if we have that problem with drifting west again it's doing south now oh it's doing oh it's fun yeah. okay well then we that works because i was going to suggest we can come back over to the southeast yeah let's go back over to the southeast okay that sounds swell back over i didn't realize our drifting was now yeah i think it's a coin toss which way it's going to go okay well, staying up on the top is There's fine. the sea star. Here it goes. And <gasps> bye. Bye. I love bye. it. I love it. I love it. Oh. I saw yes. <laughs> it's so slow-mo. Yeah, right to it. Look that at that. That is what I needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still, still I get, like, tunnel vision on Atalanta over here, <laughs> and I miss all the cool stuff. Oh, my gosh. I loved that. It's like two <laughs> feet away. I said sea star. Can we get a partial star. on this, please? Uh, go ahead. Zoom, please. It was so dramatic. I know. It was like, whoa. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we saw one of those. Yep. I think maybe while you were at dinner. Yep. Hyalo stylus. Hyalo stylus. Okay, thanks. You can come wide. Okay. I didn't realize you had someone earlier. That's great. Yeah, I think you were out for that moment, but... There's another sea star chomping away. <laughs> Nom star. Nom star. <laughs> <laughs> so do the basket stars, they don't. They mostly are just there for support and ride and to get up in the water column versus actually eating. Kind of fair for I, somebody. I don't, I don't know how basket stars eat. That's a good eat. question. Mm -hmm. I'll ask the 
I'll ask the Google on this guy. Um, it's <laughs> Thanks. I think either way they're eating, they're just either eating That's the, true. The subs the, what they're on or eating from the water column. Yeah, I mean, it looked mm. like it was eating part of the coral it was on when we looked at it earlier. Mm. Did someone say they'll ask the people in the sky? Did you guys say Google <laughs> the in the Google sky? Google in the sky. I think that was known as the bathy pathies in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sky. Who's swimming by? Oh, it's a shrimp. <laughs> oh, pew. Oh, <laughs> spazzing out there. <laughs> huh. It's not even early morning watch. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> I, we I all just had birthday cake. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I blame it on the sugar. I can feel the gravity of that in my stomach. Holy <laughs> what was, I didn't get a piece. What is it made out of? It's sugar. Like and <laughs> and you say it's made out of Trevor? Sugar, <laughs> sugar. Oh. sugar and butter. <laughs> I heard Trevor too. I heard Trevor. Oh, Trevor, sugar. It felt like phyllo uh, dough, uh, and then like uh, some sort of like it was very like flaky, pudding like, <laughs> like layer, and then more layers and lots of butter. I and whipped cream if you added it. It was great. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I saw Dan put a huge dollop. Have As he should. Cream. He's As he should. Birthday boy. Yeah, birthday, birthday boy. boy. <laughs> was he wearing a necklace that said high voltage? Yeah, but it, <laughs> yeah. it definitely said Dan Gurr as well, too. Oh. I, don't know what that <laughs> I think uh, Kylie just made that for him. That's amazing. Yeah. I think he brought it from home. Go oh. Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> just for his birthday. Yep. <laughs> a little bit of bling. She hand painted that card, too. Beautiful. Yeah, the card is amazing. Aww. They did great. The detail is like crazy. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero seven zero, please? Thank you. Oh, I can feel the warmth, Stephen, from that <laughs> satellite P3. Oh, yeah, right. Ah, man. Looks like it's going to be a lovely sunset today here from the Nautilus. Mm. Wow. Well. Another sea star there on the right. Ooh, I have basket star facts basket. if anyone wants to hear them. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 Please do. Please do. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like it feeds on things coming through the currents. So it likes to be in, or through the water, so it likes to be in high current areas. And it can hmm. eat small shellfish, jellyfish, and other critters. Um, and it, like, sticks its tentacles out and then brings food into its stomach area. Mm. And if it gets preyed on, it can wrap its arms around its body to form a tight ball. Mm. Wow. Oh. oh, that's fascinating. You know, it makes a lot of sense when we've seen them. It's been up on uh, the top of like yeah, that's true. Paragorgia, Hemicorallium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been like up on the ridge tops, like sticking. Yeah, out. like with the arms sticking all the way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the defensive thing. That's cool. I yeah. know. I was hoping it would say, like, punches them with all the little <laughs> arms. Yeah. Just curls up into it a little ball. Predator in the eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Annabelle, so you're getting some props from Ryan for your basket star facts. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so glad he's not, like, fact checking me. That would be much worse. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is that. Some folks out there watching, actually, they were like, I think they eat shrimp and some fish, so. Yeah, I think good job, people out there. Out yeah, there. so they're <laughs> filter feeders. Yeah. Uh huh. Watch out, shrimp. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we've been seeing so many. It's so really helpful. Oh yeah. Somebody was asking earlier, before our dinner watch about biomass on this yeah i was yeah um yeah and i i'm gonna say that this dive is chrysogorgia dominated it, they're everywhere yeah. oh i was yeah. asking differently about it yeah yeah zoom in please just in terms of the dominant let's get some polyp zoom the here. dominant taxa what's that little thing on the left there oh 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 yeah looks like a uh, little looks like jelly of some kind what is that what are you doing? i don't know what mm -hmm. am I doing? Who's driving this thing? Pull zoom. 
Looks like an <laughs> old balloon, a little helium balloon. <laughs> it's just like, like stuck in a tree. Yeah. Hydrozoans. Hi what? Predatory hydrozoans. Cool. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it does look like it's trying okay, to come eat on, that thanks. polyp. Come on. Uh, another bamboo coral nommer. I feel like the polyp is just as big as it. <laughs> From our scientists' a lounge. A lounge. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> a scientists at a lounge. So a couple of the scientists at Lounge and I were talking earlier about how this shift doesn't get much sunlight. We're like up yeah. all night and we sleep all day. <laughs> and most of all, we like lay in our bunks on our backs so that you don't roll out with our arms folded across and we've got these curtains we close across the bunks. We just realized we're just like the vampires of the sea. <laughs> we laughed Soft, about that yes. for way too long. <laughs> oh, we did. Is that describing this watch? Yeah, I don't know. I think most I think watches. Describing but... people on the boat in general oh, when they yeah, go to right. sleep. <laughs> I have time off, and it's any time of day. That means I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think this is the sunniest watch, though. We just barely miss sunset, sunrise, but we can be outside for eight hours of sunlight a day. Yeah, yeah that's true. I definitely enjoy the sun. Sun today, reading a book my off time we just have to be awake for it yeah i, I, I usually know. sleep i sleep too Oh, I think I'm hitting food coma. <laughs> Wake up, Diane. <laughs> it was the cake. I blame yeah, the cake. Totally. Trevor, cake. can you look up here? Yes, I can. We have plenty of time. Ship's moving, but we're not. So that's fine. Okay. Go ahead and zoom in there, please. Zoom in. Oh. What's going on there? Not quite sure. That's part of why I wanted to look at it. Looks like maybe zoanthids colonizing something else. White zoanthids, though. Is that what I'm seeing? Maybe. Maybe. Strange. I don't remember seeing those I before. I don't know what that is. Wow. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Those okay. are zoanthids. Thank you. All right, thanks for the light. That was scary for a second. <laughs> Someone's wondering what latitude are we currently at? I don't think I can see you that. You can see in I can tell you. The high pack. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. channel three. We're about 29.7 north. Oh, I see you now. Thanks, Lynette. Uh, we're, yeah. We really did come south today, or the last couple of days then. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And it got significantly warmer. Imagine that. Hmm.
bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero five zero, please? Thank you. Um, I'm just trying to go sort of over the top of the ridge. Yep. You guys are wondering about the cake we were talking about. It was birthday cake. <laughs> That's what it was. We did not have pie. I don't know if I call it a cake. <laughs> Just a, a birthday dessert. Birthday dessert. Yeah. Agreed. With candles in it. It had yeah. layers. <laughs> there were layers. <laughs> Indeed. Sometimes I don't know if the foods we eat here are actually real foods that I just haven't been exposed to, or if they're made up foods <laughs> that I want to be exposed to again. <laughs> but they're good. It's all delicious. I know. There just aren't names for certain things that we eat. I'm still amazed at all the veggies they're giving us. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> The pineapple. Mm. Oh yeah, the fresh fruit is much appreciated. Is that a star in the lower left there? Yeah, I think so. Is. Yeah, Trevor. Is it possible to come up a little shallower on this ridge, or are uh, we prevented I mean, from doing that on the tether? We can go a little bit shallower, yeah. Yeah, we can go probably five, maybe ten meters shallower. That's probably enough. I think that would get us back up on that, the highest point here, just southeast of us. Do we plan to take any rock samples anytime? Soon? We will eventually. Mm. Have we taken any yet? We have indeed. Okay. Uh, not on our watch, but um, the previous watch took uh, three different rock samples, two for the uh, geological origin study, fell study, and then one that's actually the nodules that they were talking about, and mm. that's sort of um, for everyone to look at cool. uh, a bit. Beth may get some microbes off of that. Not sure, but then otherwise it'll be used for geological study. Nice. Yeah. So those are the rocks. We have a couple sponges and some eDNA on board. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Or eDNA samples, I should say. Mm. It's steeper than I thought it was going to be based on the mm -hmm. high pack bathymetry. Someone's wondering, how do you guys still have fresh fruit two weeks into a trip almost? <laughs> <laughs> Magic, I don't know. Really the galley good galley is, staff. The galley staff is just experts <laughs> in what they do. I'm also not asking how we had sushi yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it. It was delicious. <laughs> That's all we're saying.
I don't mean to get too far down that rabbit hole, but um, most fish for sushi does actually have to be frozen because of various parasites that might be on the fish. It's true. Shelby, did you ever get your freezer tour? No, I did not. I figured I still have a good amount of time. <laughs> oh, and did we get an engine room tour yet? Did I miss it? Uh, -uh not oh, yet. Uh, yeah, okay. both of those are TBD. Yeah, it'd be nice. Nice to see some of the. Yeah, maybe talk to Dwight about getting that scheduled. Yeah. I don't think it happens regularly. It does not. <laughs> Unless you want to help the ROV team take the waste oil down to the engine room where we dump sure. it. Sure. Yeah. I can't show you anything else. I can show you where the waste oil dump is. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tour that I had. <laughs> if it's good enough for Ashton, it's good enough for us. That's right. <laughs> you know, I've got high standards for engine rooms. I'm bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the waste oil dump or don't take me at all. <laughs> <laughs> really felt like I was in the trenches. It is remarkably spacious in there. Yeah, because there was an engine that was about 4,000 times bigger before. That's so crazy. <laughs> 4,000 is completely the wrong number. <laughs> probably four. At least, yeah, it's, I'd, I'd give it between four and 10 times bigger. It's like cathedral ceilings. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now I have to go. The old engine used to be that size. <laughs> That's insane. When did they overhaul it? Was that a more recent thing or is that like? That was, uh, oh, 2019? I could oh. be off by a year. 2020? Oh, that's a, oh, okay. Can we get a partial zoom on this while yes, we're we going can. by? Yes, we can. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, that's really recent. Huh another type of bamboo coral mm. with a walteria growing right next to it. Thank you. All right. Someone's wondering if we can ask about the scientific name of that uh, predatory hydrozoan that we saw early. I think it's that little tiny. Yeah, the white on oh, one of the corals. The yeah. White. Oh, the white one or the uh, orange one? The orange one. I, oh. think, I think the orange one is what they're talking about. Chris but thinks it was an a, Genoa, a Genona species, but we're not quite sure. Hmm. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero five zero, please? Thank you. Five zero five zero. Do you think those rocks reset, are please? loose? Yep. Uh huh. These rocks look loose to me. Some of them. I mean, the fact that you got bamboo on it indicates it's not recently loose. I need to do a gauge check. Check the gauges, make sure the gauges are still there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at them. That is a sharp gauge shot. <laughs> Never seen such a sharp gauge shot. Look at how long Super this sharp. bamboo coral yeah. is to our left. Let's find out how long it is. Paul did a beautiful job programming this. Yeah, nice. Is that recent? Yes. Hey, Steve. Yes. Could you please zoom in? Zoom in. Let's see if I can do it this time. Want full zoom? Sure. Challenge. Very cute little cute little sponge over there to the right. Oh, look at it. Tiny. All right. Now, how long is this bamboo? Do, 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 do,
Yeah, that's a like great angle too. Wow. And it keeps on going. And wow. we're oh still gosh. there. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, wait, there's there we more. Go. <laughs> That's like oh three meters long. That was long. Wow. Nice work, team. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow, this ridge is way steeper than I thought it was going to be. If we can just keep coming up, that'd be great. Roger. As, as possible. It's also very straight. Yeah. <laughs> look at the sonar? No, I'm looking at the coral. Oh. I see. Oh. Oh, Beth, if you want to this that predatory hydrozoa? I think it looks exactly like it. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Agent Ona. Thank you for that link, person. <laughs> How deep are we? We are just over 1,900 meters, 1,902. I love the thanking the person for the link. Thank you, person. <laughs> Person. It's also because it's like Cinder is anonymous, anonymous. So right. I'm like, uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Out Citation. There. <laughs> person in the world. <laughs> anonymous person in the world. <laughs> and someone's pointing out that we haven't seen that many fish lately. No, we haven't, but we're still kind of deep. We did see a Chanakov so while you guys were at dinner. Aw. Yeah. yeah. Heard about that. Confession. Wow. <laughs> did it, it didn't did even it look so pouty. <laughs> it had like a slight smile. This yeah, time. it was not very grumpy. Yeah. Oh, no, it was not so as lucky. Did it swim at all? No. No. It was okay. happy because it was chill. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard that a new Chana Cops video was posted on the EV Nautilus socials mm. Ooh. Ooh. today, oh. so maybe you need Chana to check that Cups. I have more brittle star facts. Yeah. Oh, cool. Does anyone want them? Yeah, yeah I do. Yes. Our basket star. Mm, brittle star. Okay. Is that still valid? Yo. Sure. Yeah. We'll no, we it. don't want those facts. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so it looks like at 1,500 meters um, after the. Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010, scientists looked at the relationship between brittle stars and octocorals. Zoom in, please. You can keep talking. Oh, wait, this looks really cool. <gasps> oh, that's uh, it's one of the, little the sea cucumbers pink. that oh. we saw yesterday. Oh. Like a sea pig? Yeah, it's a sea pig. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> I love All those right. things. It Thank kinda you. looks similar to our grade to be pyrosome. Oh yeah, like not as long though. Yeah, like same coloring almost. That translucent purple. Yeah. Mm. yeah and they're yep. just like a little balloon. They're like bloop bloop. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I feel so supported. <laughs> Soft yes. <laughs> Back Ooh. to Annabelle with brittle star facts. Yeah, <laughs> brittle star. Oh, there's, oh. And there's this an one's not brittle. Uh, hypostaria. <laughs> not brittle. Can you porch light, please? Yeah, yeah what are these light. called? What's oh my the gosh, it's the first time today. Oh, yeah. What's the scientific name for the chunky ones? <laughs> I think it's hypostaria. <laughs> it's a purple crinoid, guy. too. Yeah, the purple crinoids are almost impossible oh. to see, even. Yeah. Oh. Where do you see it? Oh, there's a right. right. Yeah. yeah. We Going saw one earlier screen. in this watch, too. 
Okay, you can turn porch light off, please. Porch light off. Okay, can, are you ready <laughs> now for the rest of my facts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Hit us, hit us, hit us. Okay, so after the oil spill, they looked at these corals and they saw that the ones that did best were the ones that had their brittle stars on it. And the idea is that as the brittle stars are feeding, they're like washing the coral of some of the oil. Wow. And another Whoa. another study in New Zealand um, showed that like a different type of sea star was able to brush away some potentially smothering sediments following a landslide um, just by like feeding. So, wow. very interesting. Love. Sea stars would definitely take home to mom. <laughs> <laughs> they can meet the parents. So these are very lovable. brittle stars, is that right? It's yeah. yeah. Okay, brittle stars. Brittle stars. Okay. Another sea pig on the bottom there. Oh yeah, I think Good some eye. of that oil oh. spill oh, work yeah, was yeah. potentially Good done eye. by Eric Cortez, his team. Does a lot of work in the Gulf of Mexico, and he's also done stuff with the Nautilus. Oh, cool. Nice. And Nautilus did some of that work too, I think. Yeah. That's so cool. I think that was part of the EcoGig project. Wow. Also, shout out to my master's alma mater, because a number of my advisors there worked on um, research about impacts of uh, that oil spill. Oh, and cool. we're some of the first people out there to survey it and to oh. do hydrographic surveys of the area. What was your what was your master's alma mater? University of Southern Mississippi. All right. Yeah. We've got some in-house Cordes lab experts on the ship and <laughs> from shore joining on this expedition too. Bridge, nav. Can we move zero five, sorry, five zero meters bearing zero four five, please? Thank you. Have you tried this one yet? No. I don't know where it came from. Oh, Evo Plasoma. Okay. It's like standard navigation equipment. Absolutely, yeah. Combined with this one. Mm -hmm. Someone's wondering so if where we, we are. Sorry. Go okay. ahead. Cool. Someone is just wondering if we have screens um, other than in the control van to watch the dives. And we most certainly do. A lot of the times, um, our colleagues who are not on watch We'll watch the dives um, in the mess where we eat. Also in the lounge area, there are uh, screens. So everybody's still able to join in on the exploration, even if they're not in the van. So, yeah. Steve, how many screens do we have on the ship? Numbers, I don't know. But there's also monitors in the hangar. And the oh, I didn't know that. Uh, in the wet lab. Wet lab. And the data lab. In the data lab. Chief scientist uh, Forward cabin. birthing. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Uh, the cabin that's right off of the mess has a monitor. I think it's 16 or something. No. Yeah, that's the yep, chief 16. scientist cabin. Okay. Or uh, uh, whatever, lead scientist cabin. Okay. Nice. Um, where else we got them? Bridge? Did I say bridge? What about the new lounge in the forward yeah. part of the ship? Well, I bet. Yeah. Oh, I got another one. There's one in the utility room. Oh. Utility room. There's one in the, uh, the rack room where we yeah, keep all, right. a lot of the computers. Small one. What about the engine room? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's on that cathedral ceiling. There's one on the social deck by the winch, which yep. usually just shows the winch cameras. Oh. oh. No, I never noticed that one. So yes, we <laughs> have them everywhere. <laughs> Way more than I even realized. That's really the only thing we watch on the show. <laughs> one yeah. in the gym would be cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, that would be no that would more be things nice. in that tiny, <laughs> tiny. <gym. laughs> That's true. That gym's pretty. I will say that gym's pretty well stocked compared to some other ships I've been on. True. Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. One, one ship I that will remain nameless. Say. That like, when you ride the stationary bike you have to re or was it the treadmill i can't remember now you had to remove a ceiling tile and your head was halfway <laughs> in the ceiling <gasps> oh, yep. no. yep. wait really okay I've been on that <laughs> i think i've been there 
<sighs> Can you remember if it was the it was a biker's treadmill? I can't remember. Treadmill. Now. treadmill. Yeah. That's scary. It was a classic like two by two drop ceiling panel. I think so. You gotta keep your. You gotta <laughs> it's been years. I don't know. As if running on a ship wasn't difficult enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky I'm not tall. I was not fully in the ceiling. I've used the treadmill a few times, and uh, yeah, it's it's a challenge when you're transiting. It's just like you're always either running up or down, and then sometimes <laughs> off or to the through side. the air. Or yeah, through so you the gotta air. adjust your speed and your like x y axis. Yeah, it I does did make it. You know how the ship slopes slightly out. Board. Sure. So if you put it on like a middle incline, ah. it it negates some of that. That's smart. Yeah. Mm. That's so smart. like about like uh, three or four, like means you're about level. Now, do you try to go with no hands, or do you hold onto the handlebars? Ah, ooh, that's a tricky one. I alternate. You can hang on above you too, in case something goes really crazy. Oh. <laughs> and you just hang in there. I do that on the elliptical. I hang on above me. <laughs> I feel like it's a good like balance workout. You know, if you're yeah, absolutely. It's. Do you actually hang on above you? I sometimes, yeah, not the pull all. Up, the pull-up bar. The pull-up bar above the elliptical, which you can't use because there's an elliptical in the I way. I did not know there was a pull-up <laughs> bar above the elliptical. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there might not be. Maybe hang on to the shackle is what I hang on to. <laughs> hang on to the shackle. The shackle where the heavy bag used to hang. <laughs> Trevor contributed one of the most important pieces of equipment, the lacrosse ball. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone's welcome to use that if you can find it. <laughs> it's like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> the only decoration on that Easter egg is my name. But yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. you got to find the right height electrical box to use, depending on which part of your body you need a massage on. Oh. There's different electrical boxes that can target low back, high back, and <laughs> legs, whatever. I like that it's the electrical box. Yeah, well, you, could, you could lean against the wet lab door, but that's, you know, risky. Yes. While we're on the gym discussion, um, <laughs> Lynette, Annabelle did not break the record. I just wanted to let you know. Someone put what? a one. Someone put a one in front of my 700. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. no. So we're talking about Brain. the fish game on the rower. So there's a uh, competition <laughs> on the boat um, to see who can get the highest score in this. Oh, there's another purple crinoid. Oh. Where? Oh. There it is. Oh. How are they so camouflaged? I did, yeah, I did not see that. Until that circle. We have time for a zoom. I'm right at the end of my leash, but yeah, go ahead and zoom there, Steve. Wow, they are really hard to see unless you pay attention. Just paying attention. Nice job bringing us back, Beth, to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're talking All right, about the fish thanks. game. That counts. I'm at the edge of my, edge of my leash. The end of my story is that someone, I had the lowest score of 700, <laughs> and someone put a one in front of it, making Aww. it the highest score. <laughs> That's hilarious. I thought for sure you crushed it on your first try. <laughs> <laughs> I, too. I appreciate that. My first try, I was I in the lead it. for a bit, and then I haven't got even four digits yet again because I can't make it work anymore. I, I saw that stuck you on pulled into the lead, and I was like, uh uh. And you've beat me three times over. Yep. How do you get it to work? It worked the first time great, but I haven't got it to work since. I don't know. I Today don't I got know. up to about 500 or something, and then it broke again. Oh, I'm like, okay, well. I hate that. What's riding on this competition? The right. highest number is <laughs> glory. <laughs> so glory. What's bragging the incentive? Rights. Bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. All the bragging rights. It's a very competitive cruise, this one. we got a cribbage tournament being set up <laughs> right now. Yeah. Sign up deadline is tonight if anyone else wants in. Jess has me scared to play that game. She oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's going really nice. to be a friendly tournament. Lots of helping. <laughs> no buckets. <laughs> I played one hand of cribbage so far, and I lost. One hand or one game? One hand? One hand, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I've yeah, lost plenty of hands, yeah. yeah. Someone had to duck out and go to watch. Oh, so no. So I played their last hand and made them lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's their fault, not yours. Yeah, they set you up for failure. So I don't know if I want into this tournament. Lynette, if it makes you feel any better, uh, my name is signed into the skunk yard forever. Oh, oh, oh no. So there, skunk. I feel like that's an Ashton Kutcher like. Do you guys remember his t his show 
punked. It was yeah. him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we should have a an Bridge offshoot map. on the Nautilus called <laughs> Skunked. Please oh, five man. zero meters. You're the last person that I would bring up Ashton Zero Kutcher. two zero, please. But no. <laughs> Thank you. That just happened. <laughs> it just happened. Ashton brought up Ashton Kutcher. Like I know. That just like that. Just like that. Just there. Where is it, Chris? Where is you? Skunked right now. No, you're fine. <laughs> Steven, you've been skunked. No, you're fine. You're fine. I was okay. just just commenting. Remarking. <laughs> Remarkable. Remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diane, cool your beard. Sorry. Beans. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so we've hit more animals up this. here on the side. Uh huh. Not hit. I, that's the wrong way. Like that's just smacked we've come, we've across. come upon. Come upon. Come upon. Oh, what? Oh. More animals. <laughs> yeah, I realized that that might be taken the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh, question for front row. Um, someone is asking, can you please describe the ROV camera position in space? Uh, they are having a hard time telling if they are looking straight down or straight ahead. <laughs> I'll show that in a sec. Steve, can you do a zoom in, please? Roger. I'm going to go up this little trail here. I can answer that when Trevor's ready. Go ahead, zoom, or stop zooming, whatever the oh. word is. And you can go ahead and answer your whatevers. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm just going to follow this thing Look up. Look at so. that. All right. Ooh. OK, well, Trevor follows. Because his job requires a little more focus right now. I can Look tell you. all the different animals in the But I am in it driving Atalanta, and I'm to the back right of Hercules, and I am about 12 meters above her. So, to what? The I'm to the northwest, and Hercules is pointed almost due south, I think. Yeah. And is Hercules' camera pointed down or Hercules out? Hercules has 45 degrees down. 45 down. Maybe. Well, we can check with bubble cam. Yeah, we can do There's a selfie. One of the basket bubble stars. Cam. Go to channel three. All right, that's the end of my leash. Thank you, Steve. Come wide. Come alive. Oh, let me get lined up. Nice here. little, nice little Whoa. strip of corals right up that middle part. I don't know what that was all about, but that was really lovely. It was cool. So bubble cam. Bubble cam on channel three is currently looking straight down, and now it's swiveling. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It's I usually the... use presets on bubble cam. Because it's hard to move. It's not the most now user to the intuitive. Right. Now we're going to look at. Woo. Nope. Up is down. Up is down. Down is up. Ah. Oh. That's oh. the arm. Building suspense. So that's uh, Hercules' <laughs> right arm, if that helps. Oh, yeah. It's way inboard again. Why does, why does it keep getting yeah, put way inboard? Let me pull up on my delta. That's what's happening. Steve, can you come double wide, please? Double wide. And now what else do I want to see? Camera. Camera. Oh, just get there. This is the main camera on Hercules. I'd say it's about 45 degrees down, maybe. And you can see the forward bio box below it oh. where we collect samples. And can I see craft arm? Yes. Craft arm. Craft arm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Craft arm. There we go. Are you getting Thank crafty? You. Do you want a porch light? Nope. I just okay. wanted to move it out of the way. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> My crisps. Is the mushroom is it? Mushroom coral. All right. That's better. You can do bubble whatever you want. You can bubble anything. I I feel like that's enough bubbling. I finally got to the camera. Do we need more? No. I think that no. sh sh yeah. showed it best we could. I think you're that good. That showed them. <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> I'm sure they are oriented now. Okay, but where did you just spin to, I'm sir? I'm just, I'm, I'm yeah. coming, I'm coming. I'm working with one little thruster over here. <laughs> Taking all the flag from the ship. Are 
Yeah, you can come down on Delta. Come in. Ooh, here's a fun question someone had asked. Um, if budget was not an issue, where in the world would you want to dive and explore? Right here. <laughs> One of the least explored places in the Pacific Ocean is actually part of the um, South Pacific. There's a ridge system there, and there's almost nothing known about hydrothermal vent systems on mm. that ridge. What is that ridge called? Mm, I don't remember. Pacific Ridge, I think, is what it's called. <laughs> that doesn't narrow it down. No. <laughs> I don't Look remember. At this. That's such a, such a stark contrast with the more reddish pink looking corals and then it just like shoots up into the what I think are bamboo corals up there. We're going to go kind of down slope-ish coming into a bit of a saddle. Yeah, a little bit of a saddle. What's a saddle? It's a dip, just a depression between two higher places. Mm. Yeehaw. <laughs> you can actually see the saddle right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Where you can. <laughs> if I was to go straight ahead, I'd go up slope, then down slope. But at the top of this, you go left or right, it's up both ways. It's like a Pringles chip. Yeah, I was trying to like, I was like, oh, like a saddle, and then thinking of the shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah like I get it now. <laughs> That's a good question, though, because we say it a lot, but yeah, yeah, don't yeah. really explain. I'm it sure some other folks are like, oh, what? You can see on uh, the high pack on channel three, the higher elevations. Oh, on yeah, that helps you. Either side. Yep. I guarantee, next time you eat a Pringles chip, you'll be like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll ask yourself, why don't they call these saddles? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sour cream and onion saddles. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really quite have the same ring. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Can we get a partial zoom on this sponge yes, when we, we get over there? Absolutely. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh no, we got the giggles in the know, last hour. I know, I'm trying to get it out right now. <laughs> Ooh, breathe. Okay, breathe. zoom in, please. Let's do some science. Ah, science. What is that? That's really Ooh. unique looking. Ooh, gotta get a, s Look up. a little still more of that. Water. Look at that sponge. Huh. Definitely a it's sponge. It's like macaroni. Ooh. Uh, I was about to say, look at the little like tubules. <laughs> oh, it looks like elbow macaroni. It yeah, is. I think it's a type of euplectilla, but I'm not sure. And we don't have our. Um, Sponge right, expert Steve. with us, so you can go ahead and zoom out. Thanks. Can I get some slidage on this, please? Yep. Thank you. Oh yeah, maybe it was a channel asthma. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero three zero, please? Thank you. You can see as soon as they reach the end of the move how it affects the USPL. Ah, yeah. Changes oh, the jet oh. pump direction and sends a bunch of bubbles yeah. or something. Yeah, I think it has something to do with that. It's wild. Is it USPL or USBL? Ultra short baseline. BL, okay. Paceline. Paceline. Baseline. 
It is referring to the distance between transducers. Close, but yes, I mean, correct, but. Transmitter. No, transducers is right. Oh, okay. But it's kind of, kind of vague because the whole thing's also called a transducer. Yeah, that's also. A transceiver that's like also. Bad terminology. Yeah, the transducer or transceiver head has like, what, eight, ten? I can't remember. I don't know. Little sensors in it, and it refers to the distance between those sensors. So is each one of those a transducer, or is the whole thing a transducer? I don't know. Both. I think each one of them is a transducer. Yeah, but you also refer yeah. to the, as not the transducers. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's a transducer array. Totally, oh, yeah, totally. you're right. It's an array. Yeah. What's this yeah. floaty? It's like floating with your turn. <laughs> yeah, can you zoom in on the floaty, please, Steve? Ooh, yeah. that's funky. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't Okay, does that have googly eyes? Oh my gosh, Ashton, <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> oh, it's shedding yes. something, too. Oh. oh. Weird. Is it a floaty eating something? It's like disintegrating. Is, yeah, is it dissolving? Whoa. What? It's a sea dandelion. Oh, Thank thanks, Leela. <laughs> if that was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, these things exist? Sea Sorry, dandelions? Steve. What on earth? Oh my goodness. It looks like it's disintegrating before our eyes. Yes. But when you blow on a dandelion, they just like kind of, oh. oh, you know? Oh my gosh. Oh I my think gosh. we need the bathy pathies in the sky. <laughs> I'm on it. She's on Thank it. You. Gosh, when you catch yep, let me there kill it is. the lasers. What? Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. I have never. S oh my goodness. That is beautiful. And yeah. just weird, and it's so satisfying to watch. When you focus in on that, it's just amazing. When it just catches just in the looking. focus like that. Oh, it's, we got to get some great. It's siphoning or something on the top of yeah. that. Do you see that? Or, or Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to my Maybe top I'll five. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good call. Thank wow. you. Nice video work. Yeah, yeah nice video work. Great that was work. beautiful. That was so gorgeous. I cannot believe that you can. That was incredible piloting again. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even. Everybody in the in the comments are like dandelion, dandelion, cyclotophor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, gosh, we have smart, I'm, smart I want, viewers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a note of that clip. I'm saving that one. Yeah, that one has to be a highlight, like on the front page. <laughs> That's my favorite clip of the crew. Of so Nautilus. Far. Yeah, that was some premiere filming. Wow, that was like some National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, now I need to look into it more. Like, what was it shedding or doing at the top? Like, how's our Kickstarter for that 4K camera? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that works against your case. You just cut such a beautiful shot with what we've got. I know. <laughs> no. You're too good at your job. Make it blurry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do the Kickstarter for the uh, the new rowing machine. Then. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. Please. Maybe a little cheaper. <laughs> Ooh, someone put in a comment, they said, those are the Saphinophores swimming bells. Usually they are anchored to the rocks with tentacles, but when they swim, those little bells flutter. The long stringy things were the hunting zoids or zooids. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Thank cool. you. Thanks. Person. Thanks, person. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really appreciate all of our viewers, especially yeah. when they can educate us. I know. No kidding. Wow, I'm never going to forget that shot. That's burned into my memory. I need that as my screensaver. I Ooh. know. <laughs> as long as it's got everyone's voices, too. <laughs> <laughs> Peter goes to sleep. <gasps> wow. <laughs> With a little background music, too, maybe, added in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we're hopefully almost out of this saddle. About to start climbing an elevation again. Tailless for days. <laughs> oh, I think there's a fish to the right. Yeah. Is it up it. above you? It's yeah. above her. It's above. Is it above or is it oh. really big? Oh, <laughs> man. Whoa. I the always one to the left is possible. So big. Low. Catch that fish. Hmm. Do we see its shadow? Not anymore. It's hard know, it makes to me think it's high if we don't see No, this one's actually down there. Oh, there it is. There. there it is, right yeah. there. This is a different oh, yeah. one, yeah. Did you get oh. it? Oh, I didn't even see it for a second. Oh, yeah, I didn't either. Can you zoom in, please? Zoom we in. can do lasers for a moment. Oh, lasers. Just get him a little pew pew. Oh, yeah, he's got oh, those he's too. Oh, the more yeah. I swear we saw that exact one yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how, like, does it affect their lifespan at all, or is it just an, an annoyance, you know? Like, if you're infected, are you not going to live as long? I wonder. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, we're probably... Bridge map. It's a type of coryphenoides. Five zero meters, bearing zero four zero, please. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Tighter. Say that one more time, Beth. Cory phenoides. Cory phenoides. With some associated little guys stuck to the side. I can't go down anymore, I don't think, without smashing corals. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, it's so cute. Good work, Trevor. Ah. All right. That was satisfying. Yeah. Coryphenoides, always also known as a rat tail fish. Interesting. Don't love that. <laughs> well, they didn't decide. Okay, they didn't name <laughs> that themselves. Was that, was us. <laughs> that was us. So blame us. <laughs> you say that one was a rat tail? Or yeah. cory uh, cory phenoides? Whew, say that three times fast. Um, it's a genus of rat tails. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever take samples of fish? It's really, really, really hard. How how would you try? Slurp? <laughs> <laughs> thought you were trying to get away from the slurp. Slurp. Trevor. Didn't say it wouldn't make the sound. <laughs> I tried to, tried to slurp a fish earlier this year, and <laughs> uh, the the watch lead was all for it, and it turns out we weren't allowed to. Oh. So I, I didn't get it, but I got in trouble for chasing it. <laughs> you can only slurp for sustenance in the monument. <laughs> <laughs> slurp for sustenance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can we pan right to see if that was a... Victor Gorgia, right here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Can't tell if that's my eyes playing tricks on me. Looks like a Victor Gorgia. Okay, zoom in, please. And can you turn lasers back on, please? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you want a porch light? Confirmation. No. No. Thank you. Thanks. Better for dark areas, huh? Mm -hmm. 
I think you were referring to the rule of, in the monument about uh, vessels being allowed to fish only for sustenance, so no commercial fishing, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Right. I imagine that applies to sur slurping certain fish. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a lot of restrictions on the permit about what samples we can collect. I wonder if what the rules are on fish. Yeah, I didn't see that in the... I don't remember seeing that in the permit. Yeah. I think it's... it's we didn't really ask for all it. All animals are treated the same, basically, in the permit? Not all animals, no. There oh. are some things we are not permitted to collect. Sure, okay. That makes sense. So we can slurp for science, but we can't slurp for sustenance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, same. There's some things we can't collect for science either. Makes sense. Someone made a good point about that um, Coryphenoides that we just saw because we also saw another one that was infected a dive or two ago if I'm not mistaken and mm -hmm. wondering if yeah. there's something going on in the Population in this area around I don't know that it's uncommon mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's a sign of um, uh, Bad health it yeah. might just be a regular feature mm. Didn't seem to affect its mood at all. Yeah. I wonder what the parasites eat. Are they eating the fish, or are they eating? Are they just latched on there so they get a water column sample of stuff passing by? I just I don't know. I What's know. that little black thing in the middle of frame there? Little lower. Black. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, zoom in. Oh, okay. Is it just a rock? Uh, just a dark rock. Just a rock? Yeah, maybe yeah. that's when one, one's been flipped over rock. in the last huh. hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think that seems like a realistic timeline, right? You never know. Yeah. So are these getting crusted? Uh, encrusted? The rocks? Yeah. Yeah. So if we see one that's more black, could it possibly be more fresh, not quite as encrusted? Um, the rock's probably not any younger, but if it like fell More off a, moved, yeah. yeah, if it fell off from somewhere else, um, often what we see is that there's a difference in the sh texture, depending on whether you're looking at the sea water exposed side versus the sediment exposed side of right. loose rocks. Right. I feel like we've seen that in some of the ones we picked up. We see the... Encrusted side, then a darker stripe, followed by the chocolatey coating on yeah. the bottom. Chocolatey center, whatever. <laughs> Someone's wondering, what is the external pressure where we are right now at this depth? Oh. You roughly increase in pressure by... Uh, one atmosphere every 10 meters of water. So we're at almost 1,900 meters of water. Bridge so that would now. be 190 atmospheres. Wow. And if you want to get that in PSI, one atmosphere is 14.7 PSI. Can we move five zero meters bearing 055, please? Thank you. Or for you metric folk, 101.325 kilopascals. So we're talking 
2,793 PSI. More or less. Math. I like I'm proud of you for knowing those conversions. <laughs> Everybody has their favorite unit. And, uh, <laughs> he's like, or if this is tickles your fancy. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite unit? <laughs> I'm a PSI girl myself. What's the? Uh, let me think about this. For Not a just pressure, just any any oh, unit. Oh, any unit. Any unit. A zepto watt. See the uh, yeah, zepto watt yeah, falling in the lower left. <laughs> I'm glad you got that, Diane. I couldn't get the words out in time. Yeah. Yeah. You've got, I got you. you've got stops for uh, lens aperture. Stops. Oh, yeah. Good one. Oh. How many stops? Like beard second or unit of distance? A what? A beard second. How long it takes a beard out? Oh. How <laughs> far a beard grows in a second? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I see it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't remember how long it is in meters. Forty nanometers? I don't know. There's another one falling on the right. Yep. Brittle star. Filter feeder that it is. He's not on watch right now, but George, the one of the mates, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he would answer cables. <laughs> The ship's radar shows distance in cables. Mm. Does it really? Yeah. Cables a tenth of a nautical mile. So 180, 190, whatever, something meters. Mm. Here's a sea star eating the bamboo. The hipposteria. What's on the bottom there? Can bottom. you zoom in, please? It says yellow crustiness. Oh, it's a crinoid. No. Yeah. Is it? It's a crinoid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, top view. And a really thick base on that. Yeah, wow. Mushroom coral. Mushroom coral? Maybe. Yeah. Thanks. On the units conversation, I'm pretty sure Val, the geologist, would be upset if I did not mention that her favorite unit is stones. Mm, yeah, uh, good. Uh, <laughs> she wanted to count how many stones of rocks she picked up. That's <laughs> great. I can calculate that for you. <laughs> Ooh. A friend of mine only knows his height in soda cans. <laughs> We've collected 14 stones of rocks. <laughs> oh. That's great. 14? 14 stones. Fantastic. How many rocks? Um, well, stone is a unit of mass. Right. So how many rocks have we collected to make up these 14 stone? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. How many dives have we had? Our average rocks per stone. Imagine if it was 14. That'd be pretty cool. A stone, rock per stone? Yeah. It, it might. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're probably a little over that. Half a stone, probably, per rock. Okay, yeah. Is there any scientific difference between a stone and a rock? Assuming not a unit of mass? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know when I think of stone, I think of something smooth. Versus Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a stone is a small rock the size of a large rock. Oh, yeah. That just hurt my head. <laughs> he said, that just hurt your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of us just looked around. I was like, huh? Uh, Frozen. <laughs> Small boulder the size of a large boulder? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rocked my world. <laughs> <laughs> we will rock you. If a stone is smooth, then what's a river rock? A river stone. Ah. Uh, Okay, this is getting out of hand. Or a wet stone. Yeah. So <laughs> <curious. laughs> wet stone, yeah. Stones form large rocks. Okay. 
Shall we change the subject? Up there? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about pebbles. Yeah. Oh no. my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> way too Hard much. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> What about this sponge? Why don't we look at the sponge? Oh, oh all by its lonesome. This stone-shaped sponge. <laughs> Trevor. Sorry, I can't help myself. Let it go, Trev. Let's zoom in on this white animal. Yep, definitely a sponge. You can see the spicules coming out for the base. It's really got some extendo spicules. Oh. Spicules? Is that the right word? I'm not seeing spicules. What's the word for the green grabbies that hold it onto the rock? Um, I don't oh, remember. Oh, the hold fast thing. Yeah, but like but the. But it's not a hold fast for not sponges. Not a hold fast. It's the. It's the other thing. I'll back you up. I it's not it missile threads. That's another organism. I don't remember. Oh, this is the wrong folder. What are we doing here? What's a spicule then? What am I mixing up with? Spicules are the small parts of glass that make up a sponge. Uh, oh, okay. I've seen the sponge bases where they look like a really intense banyan tree. They kind of oh. grab onto oh. grab onto the rocks in a whole bunch of different well, spicules. But there's another name for the for the base part. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, and in the end of last year, Chris was just knowledge dumping all the time, and I tried to get as much as possible, mm -hmm. but it's hard to remember it all. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Time for a gauge check. Gauge check. Gauge check. <laughs> Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero six zero, please? Thank you. Is that purple of Victor Gorgia or? Yes. Cool. Is that another crinoid on the oh, pink right there. coral, red yeah. coral? I think so. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. It's funny when they're all curled in like that. It looks mm -hmm. like a something else. Like those head scratchers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that gave me a really good, yes, that's. <laughs> There's another one of the purple crinoids. Oh, I here. cannot see. What? Oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. Good How eye. did you see that? Oh <laughs> Zoom in, please. I still don't see. Okay. No. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> great, great spotting. Wow. Nice eye. Did That's not insane. see that. All right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Different posture. Yeah. They remind me of those floating things off Avatar a little bit. Ooh. I don't remember those. The little light. They're. I think they were like the souls from the the seeds from the soul tree. If you guys, I'm a movie head. And they so like hang down. Oh, wow. This might be I showing like that. So yeah. And, and if they land on you, that means you're special. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, steep rocks right here. Yeah. Little Whoa. bitty cliff. Little wee tiny cliff. Wee little cliff. With some things on top of it, no. according mm -hmm. to I the Atlanta, Atlanta view. <laughs> we are coming up on some life. Ooh. This actually goes quite a ways. Can you turn on porch light, please? Yeah, porch light. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. 
Very, uh, I don't know, sedimentary it looks like. Mm -hmm. Huh. Hyaloclastite? No. Was that the sedimentary term? Not that this is necessarily, but... It doesn't necessarily refer to that. Okay. What's the term where there's a bunch of, like, bigger uh, chunks mixed in with sediment all smashed together? A uh, breccia. Oh. What do we got there, that yellow? What's that yellow? Yeah, what's that yellow thing? So that's that anemone that we looked at Oh, earlier. yeah, we saw one of these earlier. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the apple thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Is it pulled Zoom in, inside, please? or is that yeah. just what it looks like? It's retracted. Oh. Look at the little coral. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Diane, if you really do paint corals for your wall, I hope this one gets a place of honor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, so the top part was I Maybe mean, we should have a mural on earlier. Nautilus. Yeah. Oh. I, was, must, I must have been at dinner. I didn't see it either. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what does it look like not retracted? <laughs> No, the other one was retracted also. Oh, oh okay. Are we still porch light? We do still oh, have so it. Do you want me to kill it? Yeah, yeah thanks. Dead. <laughs> I haven't seen many healthy <laughs> ones. Roger. <laughs> Roger, I Porch mean. light is dead. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Come on, Steve. <laughs> There's another one of these bamboos that looks like it has hydrozoids on it. Mm. There's or a hydroids. Star up there I'm in like the mixing up right. my words. I don't know the difference hydroids. between those. Do you know the difference? Hydrozoan Sorry? and hydroid? Um, no, I don't. Not like in any kind of like smart, I can say anything smart about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the pictures look very different. Okay, what does a hydrozoid look like? Um, it's the, this wispy stuff that's off the side of the, the branches. Oh, this is a hydrozoid? Yes. And the hydroid is? No, I was mixing up uh, hydrozoan and zoanthid. So I'm oh, saying yeah. hydrozoid. Uh, is <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, Giant gotcha. Giant sea star over there. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, on that top is of a sponge, maybe? Oh, on top of something. Mm, it looks like a Volteria. Like yeah. 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 Huh. That's looks like it's impaled. Seems like a slivery <laughs> place to stop. Beware all ye sea stars who enter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely. Oh, oh hello, fish. Swimmy. Fish. Bye. The sea stars make like the most dramatic little poses. Walteria or Walter is it wall or wool? Walter. Walter? Yeah. Walter. IA. Walter and then IA at the end. Okay. Thank you. Hey Ashton, what's the Argus DC ground fault been throughout the dive? Has it always been 10? The highest Argus? Has it always um, been about that? It has been. It's been 10 the whole time, except, I don't know if that's a typo or if it's true. Early on, like two hours in, one of the first gauge checks, it was 19. 
So it started at 19 and went down to 10? No, all the other numbers even before that say 10. So oh, I kind of okay. think it was a typo. Raj. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Someone said um, this. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Lynette, are yeah. you? Um, are we trying to go to waypoint four, or are we going to just head in the direction of waypoint five? Um, I was kind of going in an arc. Yeah. Uh, to sort of swing by, hit waypoint four. Okay. Um, yeah, and head toward waypoint five. Do you want to do something different? No, that sounds good. Okay. I just didn't know if you were going to try to move the ship to waypoint four, but it sounds like you've got the right oh, plan. No, we're yeah. good. Yeah, I'm trying to get Hercules to waypoint four. Yeah, great. Okay. Someone sent in a comment and they said this team is filled with people who do science, paint, coral art, and quote Dante. <laughs> You're all awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero six five, please? Thank you. That white thing on top of the bamboo coral. You see that? On the oh yeah. yeah. Oh, hmm. looks like a good lobster, eye. maybe squat lobster. Oh Beep. no! Oh, it's oh huh. barnacles again. Barnacles. 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 Oh. On top of a bamboo coral. That's a good spot. Can you zoom anymore? Yep. You can almost see like a. Full zoom. Come away. Okay. Okay, so this is a total landlubber question, but barnacles, are they like their own organism? Are they living? Are they left by something living? They're they are living. living they are living. And they're like, they're complete. They're not like <laughs> going <laughs> to turn complete. into something else. No, <laughs> a bright blue butterfly. <laughs> Not a marine biologist, guys. No, you're fine. Okay. You're good. <laughs> they're so cool. And they're filter feeders, I believe. The filter feeders. Yes. Okay. They're famous for like attaching to the bottom of ships, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've seen them like along docks and things. Yeah. yeah. Are they shellfish? They're a type of arthropod. Oh. There you go. Does anybody eat them? Hmm, That's my second question about everything I down here. I haven't ever heard of anyone eating well, barnacles. Are limpids a type of barnacle or no? Limpids? I don't Cause I've, I think know people so. can eat limpids. I've seen it. But I don't know if that's the same thing. I'm not sure what a limpid is either. I've heard of it, but like... I would describe I it as like a barnacle. <laughs> 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 Ooh, it's probably okay. different. That checks out. <laughs> I consulted the Google. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the and Google. Uh, potentially fish, crabs, and um, what else did they say? Starfish? Sea stars? Potentially. Yeah, Our a lot of things will eat them. They're, yeah. they're yeah. meaty little, little things. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just don't know that they're eaten by humans. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So sea stars are like the scavengers of the sea. They like, but brittle stars like. are filter feeders that protect their coral, maybe. Okay. <laughs> huh. So
So that means barnacles let food come to them, but sea stars will go actively seek yes. it out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sea Thank stars are predators. You. Yep. So it's like eighth grade marine biology. <laughs> 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 That's great. You got to start somewhere. To be a predator, <laughs> do you have to actively chase or pursue food? You can't just wait for it? Yes. Uh, really? Well, mm. you could be an ambush predator. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, is a is a flytrap anemone an ambush predator? Oh. Hmm. I feel like if you eat animals that are alive, I'd call it a predator. But filter feeders are eating things that are alive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that a predator? Is it predatory? <laughs> these are the these are good questions. I definitely think of hunting and like actively. Yeah. Hmm. I'm picturing like a cougar Passive waiting in a tree, <laughs> <or> <laughs> jumping, onto, yeah. a tr jumping onto a deer or something. Like a like. rattlesnake? Totally. Except like. with the anemone, you're the cougar waiting for the deer to jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it walk underneath the tree, right? Yeah. And the cougar oh, launches yeah. down, you know? <laughs> I like that ambush predator. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those things where there's just not a scientific distinction. <laughs> Maybe it's, yeah, more it's just conversational. It's just like a language debate at that point. Yeah, <laughs> pedantic. Are we back to stones and rocks? No. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. Are we about to what? I lost the thread here. <laughs> we're, we're saying, what's the difference between an ambush predator and a filter feeder? Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, is there is there a scientific definition for the word predator? Probably. I bet there is, yeah. <laughs> Well, what if it what if it has to eat an animal to be a predator? Not a, not well, I don't know. But some things that a filter feeder would eat are animals, right? Like zooplankton. Like microbe animals, maybe. Right. Like yeah. Zoops. Yeah. It's a good question. Okay, one definition of predator is an organism that primarily obtains food by the killing and consuming of other organisms. Okay. So I think organism. That that's very broad. That would include filter feeders. Yeah, technically. Hmm. Cool. Huh. I mean, maybe a scavenger only goes for something that's already dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. An organism that consumes mostly decaying biomass, meat, or rotting plant matter. Delightful. <laughs> According to 6 through 12 biology <laughs> lesson on the National Geographic website. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you send me that link? <laughs> I honestly don't think I've had a biology class since I was about that age. Yeah, no, I have not. <laughs> Someone yeah, in the world. I had earth science. <laughs> Someone in the world. <laughs> Someone in the world <laughs> said um, that they think an organism has to sense and react to be a predator, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. I like okay. that. Yeah. So it eliminates, like, sponges, because they kind of just... <laughs> no, but sponges can sense. But can they react? Can't they? Hmm. Uh, ooh. We're going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like we've talked before about like some sponges that can like release themselves and like tumble, like a tumbleweed, and then reattach. Oh, cool! But I'm, yeah. No. And isn't there something too where they can? can mm, I might be making stuff up. I'm not even Me gonna too. say it. What's this brown lump? Bridge nav. What? What brown lump? Oh, that's just a coral. Never mind. <laughs> Were you gonna say? Five zero meters bearing zero six five, please. Thank you. Just a coral, he says. What were those pretty ones with the parallel branches called? Oh, a candelabra? Like candelabra. Yeah, the candelabra. Like this one? Yeah. yeah. That might be one of my favorites. It's pretty nice. Versus this messy thing and that messy thing. <laughs> yeah, very, <laughs> very British garden versus French garden. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in on the, never mind. Which one? Zoom in on this, please. The candelabra. That's got f four of the, the base branch. That's kind of interesting. 
Wow. So organized. I like it. I feel like normally you see one branch, uh, one base branch, main branch coming out each side, but having four total is interesting. Huh. huh. Okay, thanks. And just a reminder for folks who have been watching the dives for the last couple of days, there are some great highlights that you can access on the gallery page um, of the Chana Cops we've been seeing from the King George dive, from the unnamed Seamount North dive, and there's also the Hawaiian language introduction to Papahanaumokuakea National Marine, Monu Marine National Monument. So, yeah, that all of yellow those are guy very worth bottom checking that out. You just passed over. Is that one of those? Yeah, big I think so. Yellow guys, oh, but yeah. open. Yeah, and yeah. it's open. Oh. So just to, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, Shelby, oh, yeah. but no, 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 you're fine. Um, Couple of folks wondered what Ooh. it looked like. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, is that the one th that was retracted? Uh -huh. Okay, zoom in, please. <gasps> Ooh, gotta get a steal of this. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that base. That's better. Oh, look at that base. Oh, no. Wow. And what is this I'm called? All about that base. An anemone. <laughs> <laughs> Can Wait, we get a tighter? Who said that? that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I like these much better open. Yeah. Yes, the tentacles are very thick. <laughs> Thanks. The base is wild. I know. It's like two-part epoxy. <laughs> it's just like a base on a base. Oh, look at it moving. Oh, I love it. So oh. maybe it was sitting in the circle just closer to us and then has started to move. Do they move? Okay, come wide, please. Yeah, I don't know. It does look like it's on something else. That's so you don't crazy. think they're related? I don't know. Possibly Actinostolidae, which is the bulb anemone. They can move. Whoa. <laughs> they can slowly move by twisting their body. Wow. Interesting. Like me moving a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder if that spot was left from it sitting there for a long period of time and that was its, I don't know, sticky part. <laughs> anyway, so we're coming we're into a flatter area here. Totally different terrain. see on high pack. Looks like a sediment drape with some manganese encrustation on top of it. Not the best place for organisms that like to attach to the seafloor. They need hard substrate. What's this little bamboo stuck to? It's Just probably a like a rock. small rock. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, every little rock has something on it, doesn't it? Every, every <laughs> slightly more than little rock. Oh, wow. It's being taken advantage of. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we might also see some sea pens in the sediment. We'll keep our eyes out for that. We saw some of those Ooh, earlier. Ooh, I want to see a sea pen. I don't think I've seen one yet. This when we collected our mang oh. uh, found manganese nodules earlier, there was a bunch of sea pens in the sediment around there. This is a little bit steeper. It looks like. It's still very steep. It's not as rocky either. Yeah, there's a sea pen right there, I think. Where do you see it? Just went out of the frame to the bottom left. Oh, oh there's yeah, a fish, fish too. Oh, oh, fish, fish. Yeah. It's okay, you don't need a backup. We'll find more, I'm sure. Oh, that's the way to jinx it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a quick snap soon. I got time okay. here. Go ahead. I think this might be one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. 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 Maybe. The rock is very smooth. Eh, sorry. That's my... Uh, is it a stone? All right, thanks, come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that, uh, like, sea star looking thing that I don't think is actually a sea star? I think they're called, what is it, Brzingid? I don't remember. Oh, let me get back to this recap. Yes, check out <laughs> the highlights, please, in the gallery on NautilusLive.org. Um, a lot of great photos and a lot of great clips from the last couple of dives. Um, 
and there is a Hawaiian language uh, slideshow, I believe, uh, for Papahanaumokuakea Na Marine National Monument. So, right at the top under gallery. How long does it take for the dive footage to be turned into highlights and uploaded? I don't know. That's a good question. It's usually a few days. It takes a little like while. Like they're still uploading highlights from 137. Mm -hmm. okay. Just depends on what what's the priority. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, when we're doing highlights, um, we can sort of rank them, and if we rank them really high, then the highlights might come out sooner than others. That makes sense. Look at this. Interesting. Uh, so yeah. Guinea fish. Mm. Oh, there it is. Yo, like fish. Where is it? White. Yeah, so oh, wow. Zoom in, please. Oh, oh, oh. Nice eye. I see. Oh. Wow. He's pretty long, isn't he? Indeed. Oh. I've seen one of these before. Do you want me to kill the lasers? Let's put porch light on. Porch light. So a Halosaur. Okay, Halosaur. Oh, yeah. Ooh. very nice. Oh. oh, he's curious. Ooh, look at us. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh no. Oh. 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 <laughs> Don't attack. Don't. Oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> See ya. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, somebody's like, Hello, Sar. <laughs> not expecting this steep sedimented slope here. We got another sea pig possibly in this little white stick up thing. Yep. Oh yeah. See what that oh is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just about at the end of my leash here, but let's find out yeah. what it is. Yeah. Alright, Steve, go ahead please. Bridge nav. Why are they called sea pigs? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, this is a good picture. Can we move five zero meters bearing that is zero excellent. seven zero, please? That Look makes at my day. the entrails. <laughs> that oh is God. so good. And what's this thing? Oh, just a toppled something. <laughs> this is better. Oh. Do they have a little fin? That one does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you they called sea pigs? <laughs> Uh, you don't think I it looks wonder. like a pig? Uh, <laughs> Takes some imagination. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to think really deeply. It's also called a sea cucumber, and doesn't really look like a cucumber either. <laughs> I felt like you could see the wiring in that one. Oh yeah, you definitely could. <laughs> if you ever get to see one poop, it's incredibly entertaining. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have a gif of one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> From. ROV footage from here. Oh, well. Okay, maybe that at a bit. Not yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's wondering are we surprised that there haven't been more fish? Were we hoping for more fish? Zoom in, please. <laughs> um, once we get up to 1,500 meters, we might see more. This is kind of a deep depth for fish. Um, yeah, the animals we're looking at here, a lot of them aren't affected by pressure in a way that fish are. Mm. That little coral's and married. Fish require a good bit of energy. There's not a lot of food down here. I think there was a shrimp over here too. <laughs> All right. I don't think we've seen another sea pen yet, have we? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Put that sea pig. <laughs> That makes up for it. 
Still trying to picture that. What is the red floaty? Shrimp. shrimp. Another shrimp. Ah, another shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> All together now. Look at that little shrimp. swimmerette. I love swimmerettes. <laughs> it's like the slowest doggy paddle. Is that a shrimp down there? Is it going to be a little chonicops? Where? Yeah, there's like a little red speck. It's oh. just went out of view in the bottom. I think a shrimp. It's okay. Probably Look at this one shrimp. rock and like everybody's on it. Yeah, that's the place to be. Yeah. <laughs> Do we ever see any new to Branks? Sea slugs. I don't too think, deep. Yeah, I was like, I don't think this is their jam. I have a feeling this train's going to go on for a little while. <laughs> <sighs> I have a fact about squat lobsters. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but this, the fact is so short and like frustrating because I can't find any other information on it, but it does come from no exploration. So in the Gulf of Mexico, um, there are squat lobsters that can, that live among larger, larger corals and feather stars, and they may steal some of the protective slime from a coral and eat it. <laughs> and then they will try and warn off intruders by spreading their pinchers out. But they eat the slime from a coral. Ugh. Oh, you wow. know? That's so interesting. You know, there's something for everybody down here. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we've seen sponges that it looks like the squat lobster got in and it just like lives inside the sponge and it's like mm -hmm. a cage around it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Or shrimp also. They and they actually it's yeah. a relationship that they can't get out of. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, really? Oh. They live in there forever. <gasps> they really do live in there. They come that in there as small. So shrimp. cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then they get trapped? And they outgrow it. Or they, they outgrow, outgrow the exit. They outgrow it. Oh, gotcha. And they thrive in there. There's enough food in there that they thrive. Yeah, it's a can't. protective strategy for them. Okay. Yeah. So is it like when they're but juvenile that they target these? Or is it like they, their larvae just sort of end up there? So check out the one rock there, and it has like a cluster of Chrysogorgia on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the one, one. that very like, <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick my nose up in the air. Whatever gives you the advantage, I guess. Yeah. We could have a quick zoom on him. Sure. Go ahead. Doesn't take much to get an advantage, does it? No. Mm -mm. Work with what you got. And a little tiny one. Look at the tiny coral at the bottom. Can you get any more zoom there, Steve? Oh, yeah. Oh, that. What's that really tiny white? Is that, a that small tiny? Sea spider? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's. That's Whoa. a brittle star. Is it? We're beside oh. the brittle star. Oh, oh yeah. There's, yeah. That. Right there. Yeah. What oh, is geez. that? I... Baby spider. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all hanging <gasps> out together? I don't know what the white fluffy yeah. thing is. It's almost like a little polyp. Do you think they're like eating things off the side it's of that like rock? almost like a small zoanthid or something. Maybe, yeah. That brittle star just like went under the rock. Yeah. There's a squat lobster bottom left corner oh. too. Bottom left. Oh. oh. That's amazing. Oh. Tiny. Yep. There's yeah, this is always the fun part of deep sea stuff. <laughs> like, even when you zoom in, you're like, wait, there's all this <laughs> other stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing me, you know, like how much we have passed over. Like, we're I just know. zooming yeah. along, looking exactly. at these big, big things and like all oh, these little niblets like this underneath the rock. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten into uh, <laughs> the microbes. Yeah. I, know. I know. And then there's the microbes. Jeez. We could be here forever. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, that was great. Beautiful sunset tonight. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Oh.
Ashton, did you say you saw like a really epic sunrise this morning? Or? The sunrise this morning was next level. <laughs> oh, yeah? It was really like, pretty. skip the watercolors, straight to the oil paints, and the <laughs> highlighters, and the Sharpies. Whoa. <laughs> highlighters. All the things. All the, all the bright things. You got any, you got any picks? <laughs> It was so saturated. Yes, I saw you getting some good pics. Was yeah, did you get a good was video that this of the morning? That oh, was today. Yeah. Of the slide out. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, it was a long day. I was filming the uh, the rolling swell. Yeah. Oh yeah. Slow motion. At sunrise, it was pretty. Bridge now. Gorgeous. It was pretty epic. Can we move five zero meters, bearing zero seven five, please? Thank Do you want to make this cruise feel long? Remember when we had to wear masks all the time? <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a long See, time ago. That was long time. Time. Yeah. We did, did we even have a watch before we took them off? No. No, we did not. That's crazy. I think, did we have a whole week of transit? Like five no, days? Five, 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 five days. days. Yeah. Of the weather. Crazy. So. What is that? To, to the right over there? Yeah. Rock. yeah. Is that one of Steve's bowling balls? <laughs> 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 I think so. It just appeared. What did you see? I don't know. The big lump of stuff that's not flat. <laughs> what? That. That your this lasers thing. are over. It's oh, just a rock one. with some corals that have fallen over. Yeah. <laughs> it does Is look like it's freshly toppled, doesn't it? It does. I wonder if the corals toppled the rock. Like they got too... Yeah, it gets a good current with a too big of a coral. Yeah, flip it over. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Like a sail. Yeah. It wasn't me. It's like a theory. Well, let's let them rest in peace. <laughs> oh. It might be surviving. Uh, you don't, I don't know. Thanks for humoring me over there. Yeah. Just let them rest. I'm, just, I'm just saying he's sleeping. Right. Yeah. We are finally almost about to cross the 50 micromolar <laughs> oxygen <laughs> concentration. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> Do you want a DVL reset? Boston Marathon was today. It was. Mm. Congratulations to all the runners. Okay. Oh. Oh, that one kind of. Yeah. Try again. Okay, go ahead. There we go. It's better. Okay. I think like the variation in the color on the seafloor is kind of interesting. Modeled look. Yeah, it's funny. Some of it's really dark and really light. Like, yeah. Why? Oh, it's super flat. Wow. Ooh. Is the current keeping us this far away from the ship, Trevor? Uh. As well as just a little bit of layback from okay. the motion of the ship. I, s I say if we'd stopped, we'd probably get halfway between where we are now and where the ship is. Okay. Just an arbitrary guess. Do you want me to hold off on, a, on another one? I don't think so. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, we can motor across this as fast as we like. Yeah, <laughs> How come the density has dropped dramatically? Is it just so the, the terrain? There's nowhere to yep. <laughs> settle? Exactly. This is mostly sand shifting sandy material. It's not a good place to sit down and try to grow up into the water column. Good night in Canada. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, all of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well, eh? Sleep well. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> Sleep <tuning>. well, B. <laughs> Have we asked yet where people are coming from this? I said it, I think, at the very beginning. Oh, did you? Okay, but sorry, I missed it. No, 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 no problem. We can see if some other folks. Yeah, that was almost four hours yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a while ago, so we never know. And there are definitely more folks here. <laughs> can't remember the list as it was <laughs> four years ago, but I mean, four hours ago, but um, we have Belgium, India, 
Norway, New Zealand, Sweden, South Africa, Germany, Finland, Canada, minus that one person who just told me they're going to bed, <laughs> um, Australia, and the States. Nice. So what's the last one? Just the, the States, States, U.S. <laughs> <laughs> you may have heard of it, A. I haven't heard of it. <laughs> the Saints? The States. The States. The States. The States. The States. I heard, oh. I heard yep. Saints oh, twice. Oh, no. <laughs> that little country you share a border with. It was no. like St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like, how many Saints are there? No, that's uh, that's all Saint Ashton. Davis the Saints. The oh. States. <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being a, anyway. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, this Where's is? that? What's that place? Right. I was like, uh. United what? Of where? <laughs> the contiguous. I was like, I don't know. All right. Oh, good afternoon from Beijing. Thanks for tuning in. Good evening from Sacramento. Hi, Fresno. Hi, Gold Coast, Australia. Ooh. And SoCal. Love SoCal. <laughs> it's almost like walking on the moon right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. I was going to say that, Diane. Oh. <laughs> it isn't like interplanetary. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's not enough craters. <laughs> That's how it always feels to me. <laughs> What's going on over there on the right? See, there's the one rock, and like, <laughs> they're like, get it. Let's yeah. zoom. <laughs> we haven't had any zooms for a while. The rock is like an island, dude. Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's, that's a good way to look at it. That's a great way to look, at it. You can, see, way the, to look at it, yeah. You can see the, uh, go ahead, zoom. You can see yeah. the swooshing of the water around it kind of carves out like a yeah. tree oh, well yeah. in the snow. Oh, like a tree oh. well, yeah, totally. Is, what is that thing on the bottom? Is that I a, see a barnacle? barnacle? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, there's, a, there's also a... Particle. That's a what a cool little oasis. I uh -huh. know the island. One of that was such a good uh, yeah exactly. Statement. And look at all the brittle stars. Uh, what's the spiky stuff on the left? Oh yeah, what is that? Nobody knows. Uh, I think I saw. I have looked it up. Like I can't remember. Coral. Oh, oh. Um. spiky stuff. Well, there's like Chrysogorgia. Um, but I'm not sure what's on it. If it's a basket oh, star yeah, or okay. something else. Huh. Uh, We're getting a request Ossico. for a tighter zoom on the yellow colony, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Stop my momentum there that on the old... That star is wrapped. Oh, that's so interesting. That looks like an octocoral. That does not look like zoanthids. I'm a little bouncy. I'm just going to land here. You want to want to come wide? No, you're good. Oh, there's a little fishy or something. Yeah. Ooh. Swimming in the back. Why won't you just stay? There we go. I see eight whatever tentacles on the polyp. It's a plexorid. Okay, mm. cool. Cool. Thank you. Bridge now. Nice. Keep moving. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero five zero, please? Thank you. What are the tentacles of a of a uh, polyp called? The eight things? Like octocoral means it has eight what? Um, are they not tentacles? Are what they are tentacles? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Uh, Tendril? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> arms? Arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the arms. I like uh, that. What's so. the difference between a zoanthid and an octa... What was the thing? Octocoral? Octocoral. I think they're somewhat related, aren't they? Yeah, they're both uh, Cnidarians. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. just different um, different groups. Mm -hmm. So I think zoanthids grow on existing corals a lot of the time. OK. And the octocorals kind of are corals that stand on their own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See? Each little island, and the rest of it, we're on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Look at from Atalanta view. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Eh? It's, it's really just uh, like. It's like a wow. painting. It really is amazing. It's wild. <laughs> look and at these three little, three little. Whoa. Quirly, quirly, quirly. <laughs> wow. What's going on there? They're like, hello, oh. we heard you were bored on the flatlands. Is that a Victor Gorgia <laughs> too? <laughs> Triple helix. Yeah. No sea stars on those. Mm -mm. No. Those are so ridiculous. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Getting towards the end. <laughs> la, la, la. Do y'all want to hear a okay. very clever, cute comment? Yes. That Annabelle pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said my pet rock was really nervous about meeting new people. I told it to be a little bolder. That's going in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. You don't say your pet stone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's it's not true. revisit that conversation. <laughs> 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 Point. <laughs> sure. what, what else are people saying? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> it was a low point. <laughs> Hit rock bottom. Uh, oh, oh, yes. oh, wow, wow. Oh. Oh. I'm leaving. Where's the next watch? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently we are also entertaining the biosciences students at University of Southern Queensland in Australia. So great. Great, oh, great nice. that you guys are learning with us. Speaking of rocks. We got some rocks. Yeah. We have passed the 50, meter, 50 micromolar Woo! mark. So Are we get to collect ready to collect a rock. Yay, oh, I'm ready. Rock. I have what? never been more ready. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh. Let's I got to remember this. how to do this. Okay. <laughs> Ship stop? Yeah, that will be fine for a handover anyway. Okay, what do you want? Round? Angular? Round. Round. Bridge, uh, okay. Relatively small. Can we hold position How here, about uh, this one? Oop, Thank you. This one. <laughs> about 14 centimeters across. Um, 14 might be okay. This one. Yeah, let's try that one. Okay, come full double wide, please. And can I see craft arm? Got some nice Chrysogorgia in the foreground and background. Arm, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Got it. Do you want porch light? Uh, follow your heart. To me. What does the storage space look like in this side we for Val? We have a ground fault right now. Ah, storage That's fine. It's your space. Sense. We've got okay. Charlie and Delta. Okay. Well, we still got 12 more hours to go. Wow, that yeah. came oh, up so oh, quick. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Now we got porch light, I think. Okay. Bye, porch light. Can we get some stills? Yeah, of stand this, by. Please? You just turned it off. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Yeah. I turned back on. That rock got really dark. There we go. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, it's yeah. a very dark okay, rock. It, please? Oh, sorry. Ooh. The wrong way. Yep. Great. Can you pause there? Perfect. All right, we're going starboard lambda. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry, not starboard. Uh, forward, forward lambda. Oh, forward lambda. Okay, forward roger that. Forward lambda, the only lambda. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't have to change the uh, sunset <laughs> camera. <laughs> <Show> <laughs> the Nothing floaty up front here, is there? Nothing no. floaty. Fantastic. Nothing at all. <laughs> except Nothing water. Nothing at all. You ready for it to go out? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. We only have, we'll lose the water. <laughs> lambda. Um, we're also going to want to get an eDNA sample. You uh, betcha. Or a Do water sample. Right before we switch out, Beth, do you want to remind people real quick about uh, sort of what was great about okay. this particular wa rock and why it was good for us to pick it up and take it as a sample? We're going uh, for Niskin 4. Yeah, I think that's right. Niskin 4. Um, I'll let Dwight explain why we're collecting rocks <laughs> while we're trying to finish up these tasks. Yeah. Really? All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who's... Who's using this thing? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, poke me. <laughs> Sorry to like, oh, okay. we were doing so little, and then at the last five minutes, I'm like, can we do <laughs> things? <laughs> I just want this one. All right, doink. All right. Doink. Doink. Great. Thank you so much. And um, did we get a nice still of this spot with the still um, Why don't we leave cam? that for the, uh, oh yeah, still cam. Do you want me to kill porch light now? Yes, please. Thanks for a nice watch, everyone. See you next yeah, time. Yeah, thanks. Good watch, guys. Yeah, go for it. That is correct. I realize I just logged them in C log incorrectly, but that is actually the correct number. So if you're looking at that, ignore. Hello. Hey. That's fine.
always start with a picture of Dan's decorative necklace. Again. Oh. Aloha, my Kako. How is everyone doing tonight? Our eight to twelve watches is settling into our seats right now. Doing well. We're back. You were pretty faint there. I was going to say, are you plugged into the top one or the bottom one? We could start out with a ship move, Katachi. Whatever they were doing before. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Just working our way to the next waypoint, I think. They just got a rock sample here, so we've sort of covered this area. Yeah, Raj. Should be in the log there, what they were doing. Whatever slips and bearing. Are we going across a little flat area, are we? We want to st stay on the top or hug these contour lines? Uh, it's, I think we want to go up to the waypoint, but not sure why they were going east there. They must have had some plan. Yeah, they, they tended to stay on top of the ridge most of the dive, but um, I'm not sure if, if you zoom out in high pack, you might be able to see that they were on kind of a wider portion, I thought. Um, no, it uh, looks like they stayed uh, on top for their entire dive. Yeah. So we can add a little variety to it and duck down off the ridge crests and explore the cliff. Can yeah, I do. Sort I'd of probably eastern cliff a little bit yep. um, yeah that seems to be the hot ticket for the i'd say yeah, yeah sounds good to me but Maybe. we can't ignore the the crest of the of the ridge either so periodically come back up you know yeah check yeah, it right. out. So maybe we'll be uh king george and the cliff jumpers <laughs> <laughs> cliff huggers Last night, where were King George and the Sponge Killers? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was going to survive. Do you guys know that we have a, a special guest for our watch this evening? And hopefully the guest will stick around and um, <laughs> be able to join us for the rest of this expedition. Oh, welcome, Epo. <laughs> she Epo? was like, who, who are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Maybe that will lead us into a good introduction for our watch and... Um, I kind of want to... Take a look at this. Sure. Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. Zoom in there. Sorry to interrupt there. Go for it. Malani. Yeah, our watch change. And um, so what's going to happen is we'll introduce ourselves. And then I'm going to um, ask the question that... Ryan gave to me yesterday to open up our watch with, and that's uh, d um, choose a soup that, that, that best describes you. A soup? Choose a soup that best describes <laughs> you and why. Ryan already has his answer, so I feel like he should, oh, Ryan no. should start us off. Um, yeah, um, I'm Ryan okay. Gasparro, uh, graduate student biologist at Temple University. Um, 
And my answer yesterday was, I think it was tortilla soup, a little southwestern. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a tough question. I'll pass that one along. Dwight, you want to go? Oh, next? man. <laughs> oh, and then maybe Ipo, do you mind reading out the Hawaiian language terms for their. Um, and there's like a little paper maybe to your left or right that has the um, Hawaiian names for their positions, I believe. I've got to remember mine. Yours is Kanaka Epikema slash Akiakamai. Yeah. Did you find it yet? Yeah. Okay, while she's looking for that, um, I think Dwight was the person that Ryan passed it off to. Sure. So I'm Dwight Coleman. I am in the science seat in the back row here. I'm the watch leader and the expedition leader for this project. And uh, I'm a marine geologist, marine geophysicist from the University of Rhode Island. And um, boy, I'm going to have to think about this soup question. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Not just favorite soups, but soups that best describe <laughs> <laughs> us. Uh, I feel like New England's famous for one of them. I like, um, how about uh, clam chowder? Because I, I like to make it, and I make it a lot in the summertime when we dig clams. So that kind of describes me pretty well. I'm a little clammy. <laughs> <laughs> And he is in Alaka'i for this trip. Maka Olelo Hawai'i. Hey, Ka'i, mahalo. Um, Dwight, you want to choose someone to pass it off to? Oh, sure. Yeah, Fiona. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Fiona David. I am from the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. I'm currently studying biology at the University of Guam, and I am the ocean science intern here for Nautilus. And the soup that I would best describe myself as is probably corn soup, because you usually serve those to those who are sick. And I am um, very sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Katachi, your turn. Hi, everyone. My name is Katachi. I'm sitting in the front row off to the right. I'm a navigator, or uh, ho'okele. There you go. Um, uh, well, I don't know what kind of soup I would be. Uh, miso soup, maybe? <laughs> uh, uh, it's like one of my favorites. Um, it's pretty light. Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll pass off the torch to Dan, birthday boy. I'm Dan, sitting in the uh, Hercules chair tonight, and uh, trying to complete blank on the soup thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I'll have to think about that. I'm get not back complaining, to you. though. He is a Pailaka Mokulu. Hello. Uh, I'll go next. My name is Paul. I'm an ROV pilot for uh, Argus and Atalanta. And uh, I think the soup that I cook the most is probably like an Italian bean soup. Um, one of my other favorite soups is pisole. So hopefully my two answers will uh, yeah, right. cover Dan. <laughs> Pause also. A pailaka mokulu. Bridge, this is Nev. Uh, please repeat the last move. Uh, two zero meters at zero five zero. Nice thing about going last is I get time to think. I'm Jeff, the video guy, sitting to the left of everyone in the shadows. Uh, if if we're going purely by like heritage, I guess I'd be a German potato soup. But I like to think of myself as a Chipino. Spicy with lots of things in it. And Jeff is a Kanaka Pa'ivikio. Oh, 
Awesome, thank you. Do you want to introduce yourself, Ipo? Yeah. Aloha, my kako. I am Ho'oipo, and I am the cultural liaison on this trip. I am the Kanaka Hawaii. Mahalo. And then what soup would you be? Oh, yeah, be? soup. I think I'm going to be corn chowder because I like corn chowder. That's it. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Aloha, my kako. My name is Malanai Kane Koehevi Nui. Um, I am a science communication fellow, um, and I think my position name, I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me anymore. I am a kumu, kumu wao, and uh, mea hai mo lelo, yeah? Hi, yeah. Okay, great job. I've been saying it almost every single <laughs> watch, so I should, I, I should know that by now. And I believe my, a soup that may, um, Describe me best. Um, hmm. I think I would be a. Mm, I really like beef stew, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be a beef stew because sometimes I can be beefy, sometimes I can be healthy, <laughs> and I um, and you know I'm a little bit thick around the edges sometimes. <laughs> With and I describe that I like I relate it closely to the thick sauce that beef stew has. <laughs> At least that's the beef stew that I eat. I don't know about everyone else's beef stew. I feel like everyone has their own version of what a beef stew should be like. And um, yeah, awesome. Thank you, everybody. I have um, yeah, I have a couple of um, viewers on here wishing um, Dan a happy birthday. Uh, thank you, viewers. It's been the best. Best offshore birthday ever. Best boat birthday ever. Do you mind um, sharing with, with us a little bit about um, the lei that you're wearing right now? Yeah, the, uh, the um, it's obviously handmade from materials with the ROV shop. It's sporting some colored tie wraps and uh, some hydraulic fittings. <laughs> Danger high voltage sticker. And You're uh, on camera. I think it's got a it's got a uh, somewhere here it's got a Starbucks uh, <laughs> bottle cap for the clasp. Well, the girls put a lot of love into that necklace or that lay as you guys call it here. Mm -hmm. The uh, danger high voltage sticker was uh, I was cleaning out the sticker drawer one day and there was a bunch of old danger stickers that weren't pertinent so I cut the danger bit off and colored in the DAN part with an orange marker. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. And uh, stuck that on my coffee cup and it kind of it stuck. It's been there for a while now. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I think one of my favorite parts about lay is that there's no limit to the kind of lay that people can make. And that either way, a lay is made from love. Awesome. We've got some viewers that are sharing with me, with us there. Their soups that best describe them also. up where we left off this morning sort of yeah already came across a another moved pretty in. dense cliff face now we're back into it's sort of bamboo dominated area bamboo corals pretty abundant and some bubble gum we just passed another one of those glass sponges we had a encounter with this morning I believe are there any uh, samples in particular that we're still looking for yeah, we're always on the lookout for a good rock for Val. And Beth. Beth. One Beth, for Beth. Beth got one uh, oh. just just before we came on watch. And so she doesn't need another one until the mm. end of the dive, and that's okay. her watch again, so we'll let her pick that one. Did um, you see some of the rocks that Val was cutting open yeah. on the rocks off? Yeah, she's very excited. There's all sorts of uh, um, 
phenocrysts, different minerals that are uh, becoming apparent the when they cut yeah. them open. And um, that mineralogy tells us something about the way the, the seamount was formed through sea cucumber and eruptions of lava. Um, and you can actually tell different phases of the eruption from the types of rocks that solidify. And uh, looking at different characteristics of the melt from the from within the earth that rose up through the crust to uh, actually erupt at the surface. So she's quite excited. Uh, we're going to have her give a little summary for us all later. Can we put the uh, DSC up in the... When was the last valve rock? Yeah. Mm. We try to get a rock about every 500 meters, but that's when we were doing two kilometer long dives. This one's four kilometers, so I'm not sure we need one at that frequently. About uh, okay. 20, oh no, no, that's not hers. Excuse me. Pretty different looking yellow anemone over there. You could take a, yeah. a partial zoom on that. Sure. Let's see if I can sneak around there. There, if you want to. Has there been one? Oh yes, there ha the, the nodules are for Val, yeah? Or yeah. is that for, okay. Yeah, I just saw that. I'm on sponge, water sample. Okay, push it a bit more. Ready for another book? Oh, move? the time yeah, here is wrong. Rich, this is thing looking. But it was um, about five hours ago. Oh, okay. Another yeah, two zero meters yeah. at zero five zero. And we have some space for some rocks? Yes, we do. One, two. You can see at the least. body wall on the side of it, maybe okay. potentially budding off, so maybe forming a five hours. All right. new animal through asexual replication. Mm -hmm. Hard to tell. I believe um, when I was relieving uh, Shelby Thanks. for her watch, we saw this kind of sea anemone, but it was turned in, and it looked like a caramelized apple that had been smashed and slapped up against the rock, and it was very interesting looking. So oh, I wow. guess this might have been that the same kind of sea anemone, but now it's like it's regularly facing out. Very yeah. cool. This one's got its tentacles out, mm. nice and happy. Okay. That's great, thanks. Maka'olelo Hawai'i, the name of the sea and enemy, is named Okole. And since this is yellow, it would be Okole Mele Mele. I know there's somewhere like a, a little sheet that has a whole bunch of names, Maka'olelo Hawai'i. And um, maybe since there's Ipo and I, we can both tag team trying to identify and say these names out loud for the crowd tuning in from from their homes. Have we seen any um, meteorites that stand out from the rest of the rocks lately? I, off the top of my head, no. Uh -huh. That'd be a fun find, though. Keep Definitely. Your eyes open. That'd be one for the books. Hercules has uh, hunted for meteorites before. Mm. Really? Yeah. Put a magnet array on the vehicle. And oh wow, that's cool. Picked up little bits of particles. And NASA had the coordinates of where one had gone down. They were interested in the properties of it. Some days dragging magnets around through the mud. Bit of a needle in a haystack. Totally. Lots of Chrysogorgia corals on this rock. Seems to be the favorite species here. Interesting 
geology here. Yeah, these rocks are very uh, blocky. Some cup corals on the rock, too. See those on and off today. Not quite as much as yesterday's dive. Well, I'm not sure if those are cup corals, actually. I believe the name of our watch is King George and the Coral Hunters, right? Or King George and the Cliff Divers. Depends on the dive. Sometimes both. Mm-hmm. Cliff diving off a lot, I think. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I like Slurp Team 6. <laughs> Slurp Team 6. <laughs> As long as you don't have to make the sound. <laughs> I think Kotachi, Kotachi has Kotachi loves making the sound. Yeah, Kotachi has that color. Oh, you gotta throw me under the bus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, ROV team isn't gonna take the sample unless you also make the sound, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the slurp is Good jammed. Good for another move. Oh, really? It's jammed with a coral. Oh. Bridge, this yeah. is not. Job for Paul, try to unjam. Uh, two zero meters at bearing zero five zero, please. Dan, for the next move, do you want me to swing you out a little bit more east? Um, I have to look away at the uh, nav screen for a minute. Hold on, let me do the strafe here and then we'll have a look. Yeah. Nice shot here. Some bubblegum coral and hemichorallium with crinoids on them. a little bit, Tachi. How's that? Yeah, that's probably good. I got it up here too, Dan. What's that? Oh. So, like, we're kind of to the left of the ship, so if we head further that way, we might get in that. Yeah, I think uh, a couple more moves on this bearing and then we could start swinging uh, more northerly. Sounds good. Looks like we might be on the point of it here from what we're seeing on the sonar. So <coughs> if we get um, Atalanta over on the on the east side there, then we could. I'll start swinging you out east then. What's that? I'll start swinging you out east. Yeah, if we get out of Atlanta out there in the deep water, at, at, from what we can see on both the sonars, the, the ridges, the immediate ridges to the north. So Atlanta's just coming across the top of it now. Looks like it's downhill for quite a ways there, so we don't want to go that way. Pop down there and see. Yeah, sounds good. Happy with that? Yeah. Oh. Toward the murky depths. You want to go down the hill or follow the ridge line here? Yeah, it's not really that steep, but if you if we see large like aggregations of, of coral or sponges, we should drop down and check it out as you go. Roger. Can you come down a few meters, Paul? Yep. Well, I got quite enough leash to get around here. Yeah, that should do it. Thank you.
When the ROV is in the water, um, does anyone know the volume of it as it swims around and whether it may or may not? I don't want to say it disturbs because it doesn't really disturb because animals actually like swim by and like check it out a whole lot. Yeah. Not the volume of a minivan. That works. And then the way that sound um, travels through water is also very different compared to in the, in the air. Yeah, quite a bit faster. Well, yeah, it does make some noise, but it doesn't really seem to bother the animals. Really dense chrysoboard shit here. Anyone who wants to know the true displaced water volume, we could uh, take the weight of it, which I don't know perfectly off the top of my head, but I think it is listed online. You can uh, take the density of water and also calculate it for yourself at home. <laughs> I uh, don't have the perfect number already, but yeah. that would be the process that we use to basically you know, calculate our own um, buoyancy volume that we need in kind of designing these types of vehicles. Awesome, thank you. Just anecdotally, we did have a couple of divers in the water when Herc was in the water um, on one particular cruise, and their comment was that Herc is rather loud. Yeah. We uh, upgrade bubble cam, we'll have a microphone in it. Really large brittle star over here. You can get, take a partial zoom on that. Sure, go ahead, Jeff. Crazy arms. Are the, are the all electric vehicles much quieter? They must be. Yeah, acoustically. But um, the electrical noises from the switching gear is, can be, uh, depending on the vehicle, can be. Yeah. That's good, thanks. I backed way up there when you zoomed in. <laughs> Have it. Try and come over here and uh, float up for one more DSC. Ready for another move? Yep. Bridge, this is Nav. Got a large prim node here, zero really. Two uh, sorry, two zero meters yep. at zero five zero. Push please. it on that one there if you want. Yep. Well, current's blowing me into it. Really covered in brittle stars and crinoids and sorry, also basket got... stars. That's a primnoid octocoral. That's good, thanks. And are those cry um, crinoids on there too? Yeah, the yellow um, sort of feather stars are crinoids. Ipo, you want to share with everybody your idea of what a Hawaii the Hawaiian name of a crinoid would be? To me, they look like ferns, and fern in Hawaiian is palai, so like palai kai. Yeah, and kai being. That. Ocean. I'm having to. Uh, like okay. I'm having to pull back the currents. Pushing me into it there.
April, do you know the names of the different kind of lava flows? There's like, ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah, th I believe there's only like two. I only know two of them. It's like, ah uh ah -uh is all the like rocky stuff that's like not a part of the bigger rocks, like, like all those little ones on in the camera right now. And then like those long, smooth, um, those long, smooth flows are called pahoy hoy. And pahoy hoy, like pahoy hoy means smooth, so yeah. That's all I know about lava flows, so. Makalo Hawaii. Awesome. We could go ahead and name everything based off of the ferns that we see on land, which I feel like is what our kupuna used to do, what our ancestors would name these off of. And I feel like those bamboo corals look like kupu kupu, and it could be kupu kupu kai. <laughs> kupu kupu kai. What's kupu kupu? It's type like of the fern. next uh, move could it's be a zero three it's zero. It's a type of fern, and actually, it's the first fern that's brought up Where's out it? of lava. Lava. Yeah. A, oh, lava a fresh lava flow. So it'd be interesting to see, like, what would be the first kind of coral right, as that As soon as he finishes this one? Yeah. 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 Probably not a bamboo coral. <laughs> uh, let's do zero one five. <laughs> <laughs> on it can be coral or hidden. But we can, we can pretend. 20 meters <laughs> at zero one five, please. Kept uh, Atlanta on the top because there's like there's coral on both sides, which is unusual. Seems like they always stay on one side, but they're happy on both sides of the hill. So keep Atlanta on the top. Uh, yeah, it's kind of darn if you do, darn if you don't. Duh. If it starts getting steeper, then we'll want to be up on one side. It remains kind of benign like this. We can gotcha. stay on top. We'll see what that 015 does. I got enough leash to. Someone's asking if um, you guys ever took sand samples. Did you guys ever do that, Dwight? Any scientists interested in sand? Yeah, sand. they were yeah. at the end of last year. Yeah. Well, on the very last cruise last year, they. That's cool. So okay. not just sand, but the sediment and the mud and the you know uh, detritus and whatnot. So. Um, there's several biologists that are interested in the animals that live within the mm -hmm. uppermost layers. Um, oh, cool. Um, Amanda Demopoulos comes to mind. She she works on in fauna, and um, we often collect uh, core samples when we can uh, for her to study. Um, and then other uh, others are interested in it as well. But it depends on the cruise. So usually around hydrothermal vent systems, we're collecting lots of core samples because of the animals that are living near the vents. Um, and then uh, generally for geology studies, we try to get a couple at the base of big ridges um, or, or, or big like cliff areas, but it's been impossible on this cruise because we're just not coming in on any sandy bottoms, mm. you know? Nice. Might we take a push core though if we yeah, encounter some yeah, sediment? I, yeah, and I've been looking for some pockets, but they it's hard to get good push cores from sort of coarse grained yeah. sand. Yeah, so you need, you need like sticky mud. Boat. Otherwise, it'll just fall out, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. Remember two, two years ago, we had uh, Taylor Ann Smith out here, too, and I think it was part of her master's thesis. She was looking at microplastics and might have been 
you know, looking at the core samples for that as well, or push cores, like how much of that was mixing into the different biology samples and yeah. push core samples. Nice. What coral is this, Ryan? This is a bubblegum coral. Paragorgia. Paragorgia bubblegum coral. There was a comment, yeah, so um, there is a Hawaiian word for bamboo, and that is ohe. So it could be ohe koa or koa ohe kai. Koa ohe kai. Yep. The lines is not behaving. Cool shot with the mouth of the crinoid there in the background. Sticky, is it, Jeff? Yeah, it's not wanting to come out. Okay, looks like we've got a handle on which way the lens is going. S stalling there. Okay, I'm going to come on. Just to, uh, Pretty good on that course. Bless you. Bless you. You want to stay on that bearing? Yeah. Good. Bridge, this is Nev. I like the offset there. Side view of uh, Herc. Two zero meters at zero one five bearing, please. Would anyone like to share? Um, how long did it take for you folks to get this job and talk about some of the pros and perks that you guys have within this field of work? Who first? Me? <laughs> well, I've been doing this for quite some time, uh, 30 years, believe it or not. Uh, so I got involved with a job that I got at the U.S. Geological Survey out, out of college and started going to sea and getting experience, mostly doing mapping and um, side scan sonar surveys and seismic surveys. And uh, that got me kind of in the mode of oceanography and ge geophysics and uh, went to grad school for it and really been doing it ever since. Um, got involved with Dr. Ballard about 22 years ago uh, at Mystic Aquarium and the Institute for Exploration, which was sort of the pre precursor to the Ocean Exploration Trust. And um, built these vehicles and started going to sea with, with them back in two, 2003, 2004. So it's exciting and I love it. and keep doing it, you know? So that that's the perk, is that we like what we do, you know? Mm -hmm. The challenge, I guess, is it takes you away from home for long, long stretches. Mm. You, you know, you're traveling a lot, you're on ships a lot, and uh, sometimes difficult when you have little kids at home and things like that. Uh, it takes you away from family, mm -hmm. so. Awesome, thank you for sharing. I wonder, if Jeff, do you mind um, sharing a little bit about um, how you came upon this sort of career, perhaps, and the things you like about it? Oh, I, I got into this, into video on ships through a friend who uh, used to work for the University of Washington. And he did some of the very first high definition video live off of a ship back to shore. And uh, he got another friend hooked in with, with OET, and then he came back in and was doing stuff. And they needed a, another person with a video background, so they gave me a call. 
and I came out. And um, yeah, the the first trip, I made the mistake of being up here in the vans as we got out into the open water. So my first day was not necessarily very enjoyable. <laughs> um, but you get over it, and then you, uh, you sit here and get a look at some very cool, very interesting things. And uh, I also got the chance to help design and, and build the vans that we're sitting in, and that's always, I, I love doing that. I love designing stuff, figuring out, you know, where things need to go, how things need to be programmed, so that when you're sitting there and you push a button, something happens. So, and then my video background, I've been doing video since I was in my 20s, so that was a long time ago. We won't say how long. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else from the front row have some brain space to share how um, how you guys came to these positions and your favorite parts about these positions? Yeah, sure. I um, I got started through uh, the internship. Um, with OET about four seasons ago, or this is my fourth season now. Um, and I was a student in my grad school studying engineering. Um, and, you know, my PhD was basically in robotics for exploration. Uh, and I really wanted to see all that work in the field. Um, so I was very fortunate to, to get selected and get the opportunity to come out here and pretty much loved everything about being at sea and doing this kind of work and I've been uh, able to come back each year. So um, yeah, that's my my path to ocean exploration. Mahalo. Um, Dwight, did you work with um, Schmidt Ocean and um, ROV Sebastian? And if so, um, what expeditions were you a part of, perhaps? Uh, I have uh, visited the Falcor and have colleagues that work on the Falcor everything. and with Sebastian, but I've never actually done a cruise with them. But I'm certainly familiar with their work and, and the people that, that uh, do the work. Uh, Dan, however, I think has piloted Sebastian a couple times. Yeah, I was involved with the uh, engineering project team that built and tested Sebastian and uh, mobilized it onto Falcor. A great team. Built and designed and built in a year. Awesome, thank you. There's another um, sea star there, yeah, that's climbing yeah. that that coral. Have making a, having a meal on the bamboo coral. Dan is currently pirouetting around it. <laughs> We're trying to see the stomach. Come around where we can uh, land without disturbing any of the... Uh, also interested in what looks like animal tracks in the sediment back there. Yeah, it's a cool sediment bowl. facing camera here to kind of looks like it's just hanging there not really eating right now shirk on the rocks here maybe having a post meal nap I know what we call those connect attacks connect <laughs> attack mm -hmm. Is that what you guys call it in Saipan? No, that's a dish. Oh, no, it's a <laughs> it was so funny. I was telling Justin like. that, <laughs> and he said what Fiona just said. Looks <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like maybe some debris in there rather than tracks. Yeah. 
I feel like that looks like a little okay, dead yeah. crinoid. Oh, well, I know. Playing the star here. I have to move the camera. Okay, I should be able to get a tight shot there. How is the coral able to support so much weight? It's so fat. Yeah, they. Uh, it is pretty remarkable. They have a calcium carbonate skeleton, and uh, when you handle them, yeah, they are pretty, uh, pretty hardy despite being so thin. Um, you can s the bases are pretty heavily calcified too, and that certainly helps. Well, it might not be eating, but that's an awesome view. Yeah, really cool to see um, all the tube feed in there. Some nice shots, some chrysogorgia in the background too. I wonder where we would have to look for all the Hawaiian language terms oh, of the move? different kinds of yeah, um, lava flows. Bridge, this is new. That suction nozzle all the way in, or I guess it is. Two zero meters at bearing zero one five, please. Yeah, I don't know much. I only know like Pohahe uh -uh, but I know that like before Pele came to Hawaii, there was another aqua Pele, I guess, like another aqua lava, but like. Yeah, I feel like he would be responsible for all these flows mm. because he's older in like Hawaiian culture. Mm. But you know, who knows? You're totally on SPL too. There was a part of me that was really interested in um, wondering what other languages um, have a lot of science information captured in it. Like, yeah, that is a great question. Um, there's certainly quite a bit of um, Chinese science, Russian science, um, really science from all over. Um, Quite a bit of it is sort of at least translated into English, um, but there are certainly um, publications in other languages. And yeah, just in um. Just a. Uh, something that I was really contemplating about after a, a meeting a couple of us had with a Hawaiian language working group and um, trying to figure out and talk about how to best teach the kind of materials that we're looking at and, the, and all the different roles we have on these kind of expeditions, um, yeah. teach it in Olalo Hawaii to our students who speak Hawaiian and how how that would be. Can we take a look at this multi-armed star down here? Sure. Yeah, m multilingual people are uh, really important in sort of bridging those divides, definitely. Push in the halfway if you want to. I believe we collected one of these, Solasterid. 
start this. This looks like that starfish that we collected the other day. Yeah, we'll from the first dive. Hello, Hello little starfish. This is the starfish, like the first starfish I touched from the deepest depths of the ocean. I have like, I think Ipo and I have a very close relationship with yeah. this type of starfish <laughs> now. How did you touch it? With a glove. Yeah. And um, supervision from our data loggers and uh, wet lab managers. But with, with a lot of care, and I think we even sang to it. I don't know. Was it the same same kind of starfish? or different? Yeah, I believe so. And then Ashton drew a picture of this to hopefully make Fiona feel better. Yeah, she Thanks did a really guys. good job, too. She did. Her first draft wasn't so good, I have to <laughs> say that. <laughs> I made fun of her first draft and I made her redo it. <laughs> she went from 2D to 3D. I think Annabelle drew Good. one on the cup that she crushed for me. Mm -hmm. So this wall isn't nearly as steep as what we were encountering earlier today. No. It's uh, like it's well worn, wind worn. Another move? Sure. Bridge, this is not. Two zero meters at zero two zero, please. Thank you. Well, we do seem to be right at the ridge, you know, of this. Yeah, you guys are, and that's right. I was looking at the ship position, not the vehicle position. Yeah, the sonar tells the story there. Yeah. Can we uh, change that move to 315? Thanks, George. Copy. back on the top there. Looks like it's a little steeper on the left side, so coming up. Hmm. I really like this comment that really broke down Pohoi Hoi and Ah Ah. Um, those are the two kind of lava flows that um, we were just talking about. So Pahoyo is basaltic, um, iron-rich lava that moves quickly um, and smoothly, forming uh, ropey masses and hollow tunnels. The A'a -a is, um, is a chunky lava that hardens in a rough or spiky surface. Both names come from Hawaiian language, um, Hoi means to paddle, um, for the way the swirling lava resembles and dying water. Ah uh -uh comes from the Hawaiian word for burn. And uh, mm -hmm. very interesting yeah. facts there. And I really want to know the underwater. I'm, I'm after our discussion in our last watch and talking about the the underwater lava flows. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what our kupuna had to say about that. I there's this term that that talks about ha kamoana. And um, do you know anything about Hakamoana? Ha 
<coughs> I do not. Do you? Ha Kamoana. It's in one of our hula about yeah. Pele. And I believe um, one of our scholars, Hawaiian language and Hawaiian, Hawaiian worldview scholars, um, Antikalein Ohiva, is really good at taking pictures and putting the words to the pictures so that we can describe what we're seeing in Hawaiian language. And I believe Ha Kamoana is when there's some sort of eruption that's coming from under the ocean that causes this mass of bubbles. So like ha means to breathe. So it's like if you can imagine the ocean breathing up right. and all these bubbles just kind of pushing up. And I'm wondering within that ha kamoana, perhaps we can see that, that pillow lava that we were talking about yeah. yesterday and that we, we were looking at in our last watch. Well, I do remember learning the terms uh, 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 and po is it poi, what is it? Pohoi hoi. Pohoi hoi, yeah, because that is, those are common descriptions of lava. Uh, those words carry through the geological community for um, describing lava flows. But I don't recall any Hawaiian names for underwater mm. lava flows, but I could be wrong. It'd be interesting to do my research on the as of AE. I definitely feel like um, marine life should be talked about in schools, especially in Hawaii, because Hawaii is surrounded by the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> like you just drive 20, 30 minutes yeah. and you're at you're at the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I definitely believe like 70% of our air, our breathing air comes from the ocean also. And um, as a person that grew up on the islands, um, I love the ocean with all my heart. And uh, I've made it a point to make in the ocean, a place that I, I, I dwell a lot. I, I'm on the ocean almost every single day of the week. I, I work there and I'm... Come down a bit more for me. I enjoy bringing the ocean closer to our kids and making it more reachable for them rather than this scary place. Right. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that perspective. Yeah, that's important. School yeah. field trips to the ocean, was that a thing? Ever go look at critters that is a thing i i, I didn't I, at, at my school we didn't do that too much yeah but um, i know we're providing more opportunities for our youth to yeah, that's to great. visit and there's this um another 20 uh 315 uh manoa bridge this is not oh wait i'll wait for kotachi uh another 20 meters at 315 please I'm going to add a little bit to that. Um, but um, I believe, yes, everything in our ocean should be talked about. But I also believe that everything on our land and our ocean should be talked about together. Mm -hmm. Because everything's connected, especially from a Hawaiian point of view. Um, sure. Yeah, just making the connections between our mountains and our oceans. And then to go even deeper into the deep ocean would be very cool. Yeah, in our culture, they try their, we try our best to teach duality. Yeah. Whatever is in the ocean, it can also be seen um, on land, yeah. vice versa. Come up just a bit there if you want, Paul. Keep yeah. the tether off the rocks. Sounds good. Okay, I like this question. If you could design your ideal Nautilus expedition, what would you study, um, be looking for, and where would you go? Hmm, interesting. And there's so many things we don't know enough about in the ocean, uh, including what we're looking at right now. It's the first time we've ever been on this seamount. 
Um, so there's a lot of really valuable things you could do. Um, to start the tug there. I don't know. The, yep. the opportunities are endless, really. Come around and wait for you. Yeah, I would say probably venturing to places that are really hard to get to, and it's not really possible for the Nautilus necessarily to get to some of these places, but, um, you know, we're thinking about an ideal situation. Uh, probably going to the Indian Ocean and studying places like the Southeast Indian Ridge. And mm -hmm. These are very uh, hard to get to places and very poorly studied places. Um, other regions uh, around Antarctica uh, as well. Is that difficult for political reasons or geographical? Or I think geographical. It's just so far yeah. from everywhere. Even the South Pacific is poorly studied compared to the North Pacific. Good for another twenty three one five when he's done. Copy that. There's, there's not a lot of places to stop for port stops like between South Africa and, and Australia, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we did a mid-Atlantic ridge, left uh, Marseille, France, France, mobilized the system there, and then went to, uh, I forget where, in Brazil for four days, and then back across. Yeah. So for six weeks, I think we had nine days of dive time. Bridge, this is Nav. Another 20 meters at bearing 315, please. Just out of curiosity, um, are the shrimp we see roaming around edible? I mean, they look pretty ornal to me. I think they would be edible, but they're very small. Mm. Not a lot of meat in there. Sounds like it would be a chip if you were to <laughs> deep fry it. <laughs> Anything tastes good deep fried, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I thought the ROV camera makes everything look a lot smaller, so that they're probably not that small, are they? They're small enough to fit in the... <laughs> <laughs> they're really hard to catch, though. Are the shrimp that we see at this depth the same ones that we see at shallower depths, perhaps? Probably related. Mm. Um, I can venture, I guess, but not the same exact species. Awesome. Thank you. If you could plant your own coral garden, what would you have in it? <laughs> I have a feeling Dines would have a lot of cup corals. Cup coral, bubble cup coral. I forget the name of the little swirly guys here. This, yeah. uh, I think that's Iridogorgia or Rodent Iridogorgia. Not sure which one. Oh yeah. Those are very it's cool. Like a corkscrew. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Spiral skeleton is really amazing. garden for sure. Mm 
We haven't done too much exploration on the uh, west side like we are right now. We, we previous dives, we were always on the east side of these cliffs, of these ridges. Yeah, it was a bit more dramatic over here. It seemed like more uh, the current's coming up this side. So maybe that's why they're... Yeah, is it sort of, is the current pushing you towards the wall here? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not so bad down here at the top. It was oh, yeah. coming up over this ridge for sure. See it blowing Herc's uh, tether up against its tail. Oh, yeah. Another 20? Yes, please. Same bearing. Bridge, this is Nev. Another 20 meters at bearing 315, please. Show me what's out there in front. Well, oh, thanks. If Hercules 2.0 were built, uh, what would it take to give it a deeper maximum dive depth? What is the main limiting factor? The buoyancy, the flotation, syntactic flotation at, at the moment is the main limiting. Most of the uh, jewelry on there, as we call it, is uh, 6,000 meters. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, main electronics bottle, I think it might be uh, 4,000. For deeper buoyancy, is it just uh, like a higher ratio of epoxy to the hollow spheres? Yeah, more epoxy for the microsphere, so it's heavier. So you have to have a bit heavier. And to then it needs it. to be bigger. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. Then, you, then the limiting factor becomes the six eight in this case. So. Mm. Oh, we are at tether limits. Sorry. One of the questions that one of our students asked us in one of our ship to shore interactions um, really stumped me. I wonder if any of you folks could help me answer this question. Um, how strong is the EV Nautilus? Strong. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I was trying to remember the other day the uh, tonnage and uh, horsepower of Nautilus. It's on the. Uh, it's published, of course, but. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember those okay. stats off the top of my head. Or yeah, specs I couldn't off either. The top of my head. Um, it is a ship with some good bones, I would say. It's uh, sturdy, rides well. Some might disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. Rides way better than Falcor 1 did. <laughs> You know, there's, there's certainly ships out there with much more powerful engines and powerful thrusters. Um.